Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Assassin's Creed Brotherhood playthrough. I did a little bit of grinding just to, like, not really grinding, but like going around, upgrading the various shops just to get that out of the way that I had the money for. But hello, Lapizona. Today, we're going to do lots of side things. Like, clear out all the Borgia Towers that we can. I think this is the only one that's available to us right now. And then just check out the various side things, like assassination contracts. Ka Copperny? I still have no idea how to say his name. Just like those side quests, the courtesan missions, see if there's any thief assignments to do, maybe even a few Romulus ra rares. Romulus lairs. Just. Tons of side things to do today. Because they're just piling up already. So let's go ahead. See if we can deal with this here. Diddly D it all. Praise the crossbow for silent kills. Ah, dang it, there are guards here. Fine, I kill you. Luckily, the guard captain doesn't seem to have noticed yet. I will take that. Go ahead. Attack me. I find it funny that it's like, hey, do you know how to do lifts? As if that wasn't one of the first things the game truly threw at us. Like a long, long time ago. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot best to not, uh... Why? Come on, game. So I can... Why can I auto... <laughs> Everybody but the guy I want to do. There we go. Gun time! Because, for some reason, <laughs> the game is mean and doesn't let you like <laughs> kill the guy with the the main, like, guard captain guy, they don't let you kill him with a crossbow bolt. Oh, what am I doing? I can just gun him. Haha, gun. Kick. Nope. I want to loot the guy's body. See if he has anything special. Since looting is actually viable in this game. They give things! Which is nice. Because beforehand, that's a lot of money from a chest, okay. And Indian oh, no. Diamond. There's something dead. Where has he gone? Oh, I, see him. I came up there. here to rip off my own face. And might as well. Oh, especially because. Eh. Dang it. Why do you have combos, my dude? Also, no. just realized, really. Game, can I just get away from these guys? <laughs> I forgot, like, they didn't really go into it, but it does seem that they modified the dodging mechanics, which is what was weird there. Because beforehand... Beforehand, things were nice, and you could just press a button to dodge. Here, the game is like, mess around with the control sticks. And like, even though the tutorial combat sequence literally went into it about, hey, uh, you can press A to kick your foes now, but for some reason my brain was still stuck in Assassin's Creed 2 land of, I need to dodge to make distance and completely forgetting that uh, they, uh, they kind of took that away ever so slightly. This goes to show that I have not gone into that much combat just yet. You'd think three streams in, I would actually know the combat features of this game. Yeah. We'll burn down this Borgia Tower and see what else things we can upgrade or renovate or whatever. Because that's basically all that I did off-screen a little bit. 
was run around and renovate the various shops that I could. Two aqueducts because they were cheap. To die. Basically things that wouldn't affect the gameplay of like, ooh, first time experience. Whereas doing a Borgia Tower is a first time experience because I don't know what goes on in there. We'll do the- we'll renovate all the things here that we can. Just because we can. And then while we're in this area, we'll try the assassination contracts. And then maybe we'll do the Templar Lair, the Courtesan Assignment, just all the things. All of these side things that are piling up and saying, Hey, do me! Hey, do me! Hey, do me! Again and again and again and again and again. Also, although the one thing that I did notice is the more that we renovate, we get discounts. Which is basically taking the villa-like upgrade mechanic and just kind of uh, spreading it around. So, the more of these places that we renovate, I'm not sure about banks, but like blacksmiths, Art people, doctors, you get discounts the more shops you've renovated. Nope, no money to draw out just yet. And there is a diddly-dee there, so we'll just, yeah. We won't do that because that's a faction building, and I'm not exactly sure if it, at the same time, it's probably not that big of a deal at the end of the day. Because it's just like, hey, which ones do you prefer? I guess I'll go for thieves for this one, just because I think thieves are slightly more valuable in the long run. Because I think that the thieves are just slightly more valuable. Because I don't think courtesans can distract. Yeah, because I think courtesans are, a, like, not only... Well, I don't know how the courtesans function in this game. So, I'm not sure if random guards passing by me can take away my courtesans that I've hired. Whereas my thieves, I can just point them at the guards I want them to distract and they go and distract them. Not sure if uh, this will, game will be better than Assassin's Creed 2, in which if you sent thieves after the bodyguards of an assassination target, the assassination target and all surrounding guards will immediately go, Aha! This guy sent the thieves over, which must mean that he is the murder man. And it's just like, I did not enjoy that. <laughs> I did not enjoy that. That basically put me off using the mercenaries, thieves, and courtesans, like, at all. Because it's just like, what's the point? And plus, another reason that I decided to do just a little bit of the uh, running around, renovating off-screen, was primarily so that I could, like, I still don't know what these paintings actually do, but might as well buy some cheap ones. Now, you know what, let's just clear out this guy entirely, because we got a burst of money, so it's not that big of a deal. I will take treasure map, just in case if I want to run by and grab a money box that I can. We'll run back to the bank to get our money out. But yeah, I'm not sure if they changed how the hiring groups mechanic worked with, like, the courtesans and the thieves. Maybe they're like, oh, <laughs> maybe the thieves shouldn't immediately telegraph to the person you're trying to kill that you yourself are here to kill them and have all the guards auto-lock onto you. I don't know why that was a thing. And, yeah, again, just really put me off ever using the factions. Because it's just like, what's the point? What is the point of using factions if the factions don't work <laughs> under certain circumstances? Well, let's 
let's see. We're gonna go around, just upgrade all the things that we can so that we can get more money flow because I have the money to spend as our Jose. And it's just a nice feeling. Let's see, is there anything specific in here? No, no, nothing new. I don't use these weapon like small weapons, so it's useless to me. I can like maybe buy bullets, but we can loot bullets from people. And sadly, can't sell my items anymore because I don't know which ones are important to the <laughs> to the stinking quests. That's the funny thing. Is that in this game, there are shop quests. Certain shops will give out and be like, ah, if you give me the right items, you can get a new item to buy. And now I don't want to sell anything ever. Which is kind of like, why even have the option of selling items when I'm never going to sell items until there are no shop quests left. I should probably, at the very least, go buy a tailor. Alright, so we'll find a tailor and see if there are any, like, uh, pouch upgrades I want. And then we'll come up here and uh, do that assassination contract before just winding around to Whereversville. Whereversville to do whatever things. Also very sad that buying art isn't an investment anymore. I feel like that's just a thing to do now. I can dye my clothes if I want. Again, a neat feature, but I just like the basic one. So let's see, large poison vial. First, large medicine pouch. That's just nice to have. Uh, I'll go with the large poison vial. Just because... And I highly doubt I'm ever going to use the knife upgrades. And look at all my money. It has gone. <laughs> this game is a vacuum of money. So we might as well go over there and do that assassination contract then since it's right there. Hopefully from the way the assassination contracts are laid out and the fact that I've come across those like dove, dove, dove coops around the city that the assassination contracts work as I wanted them to in Assassin's Creed 2, and that the assassination happens in relation to the coup. So it's not like, aha, you grab it here, but it's all the way across. Considering that we're spending most of our time here, oh, it maybe not. Or maybe yes. And three's a crowd, kill three targets within two minutes. Cesare hopes, uh, Cesare hopes that our rebels will stumble into his line of fire. His expert gunmen wait, instructed by their master to shoot unsavory targets on sight, blind them to further our cause. Niccolo. Luckily, they're very nearby. I'll go around like that. It'd be interesting if the gunmen have better sight and, like, immediately shoot you. Die. Alright, they just... They put a load of, like, non-target guys up here, too. Thank you, Crossbow. I still question why the game won't let me kill Borgia Captains with it, but hey, What to do anyway?
crossbow. No, I wanted to loot his body. But it does seem that they are proximity-based assassination missions now. Which is all I ever wanted from the assassination missions in Assassin's Creed 2. There's a reason why I didn't complete all of the assassination missions in Assassin's Creed 2. Because they got very repetitive and annoying with the, and you must, like, oh, you can accept them from anywhere. But they can be anywhere as well. I like coming to this specific location and them being like, hey, here you go. The mission for this area, rather than the annoyance that it be. Let's see. Assassinate three guards with the hidden blade. That's easy. Farmers have hard enough time turning a profit at times of war. But Romans must deal with the Borgia, uh, Borgia taking their hefty share. Put an end to this injustice. Works for me. Ones of time limits always annoy me, but it's always nice to get one so that I can take at my leisure. And also, yes, I did forget to... ...do the Romulus Lair speedrun again. Wait, but this isn't a restricted area. So I don't think they care. How dare he knock me about? I was gonna kill him and he knocked me about. The jerk. Also, the fact that they're all on horses amuses me. I wonder if the smoke bomb might be handy here. I'm gonna try a smoke bomb. Yeah, because this isn't a restricted area. So I can do whatever I want. Smoke bomb! Works for me. Smoke bomb, for the first time I used it, you were very helpful. And again, looting, because beat spending money at the people people. And I shall do it again. Smoke bomb! Ninja vanish! Exactly what I wanted. But yeah, these assassination missions so far seem vastly superior to Assassin's Creed 2, in my opinion. Because again, in Assassin's Creed 2, it was like, lol, screw you. It can be anywhere. Mainly because Assassin's Creed 2 was a little obsessed with, ah, yes, you can go to all of these different places Florence, Tuscany. Forley, Venice, and then, like, all of the assassination missions were for all of Tuscany, all of Florence, but at, at, at the same time, though, when it came to, like, uh, Venice, it was a little better in that, like, at least some of the assassination missions could be done per area, because, like, Venice slowly opened up the more you did main missions. So assassination missions were available, and then you'd do like a main mission, and then more would become available in the new area. But if you went ahead and did a bunch of main missions and unlocked the majority of the Venice area, then it basically had no difference. Hello, Cortesan, who must I kill? Buongiorno, Ezio. We are taught to seduce Roma's most powerful men. But not all of us have been able to resist their charms. Follow Julie. The irony. I suspect she will lead you to her benefactor. Follow Julietta to locate her benefactor and then kill him. Assassinate the target from a hiding spot. Alright. Oh, 
Headbutt. I don't get why the bards, like, get in your face the entire time. I get it, they're meant to be distractions, but... You'd think the bard would just be happy to hang out beside. Game is very mean, putting the target right in front of me! <laughs> why? is ever so slightly rude to put the person that's gonna be like, Oh my god, it's Ezio! Ah! And, like, kill the run, walking directly towards me! Just ever so slightly mean, if you ask me. Just the slightest bit mean! <laughs> I knew that she was gonna be looking for me in a moment, so I was looking for a crowd to blend into. And remember, 100% synchronization relies on killing her benefactor from a hiding spot, which means getting probably, well, luckily, I think blending into a crowd should count, but it also depends on where her benefactor is. And again, they'll be looking for me and be like, oh my god, it's Ezio, and ruin all my shit. can't see me jumping behind a corner. Ah, it's because she's coming back. No need to be shy. Come forward. Uh, make up your mind, lady. Head into the head into the hay. Luckily, she is kind of dumb. And isn't like, hmm, that man in a white robe who just jumped into a bale of hay. Nah, it can't beat the guy. Also, depending on how well our wandering around doing side mission things go, we might also use a little bit of a guide to find some of the glyphs that we already know the general locations of because I do not like the faffing about with that. Like, when it comes to smaller buildings, sure, I'll do a little bit of an Easter egg hunt. I uh, staunchly refuse to search the Coliseo. It is way too big. It can be literally anywhere, inside, outside. 55, 95. Anywhere, anywhere. See, Giulietto, you are holding up the entire aisle. Also, you're just holding your cane and not using it. I feel like that is a misuse of a cane. Unless it's your bludgeoning stick. Hopefully I'll be able to... That's not what I wanted. The controls of shuffling along, because it kind of messes with the camera while you're in here. Here we go. Bye-bye. Your man is dead. I did not know the Bastardo was a traitor. You are no longer welcome at the Rosa in Fiore. Just be thankful that I am not a... Okay, those people just disappeared and then came back, sure. Just be thankful that I am not a crazy person that's like, I'm a kill all of you. Mainly because you're women. Because Ezio will stalk women if he thinks that they are nice. And like, ah yes, this woman, she is nice. I shall stalk her to know where she lives. But it's okay, because I am Ezio, the good guy. I do think that's a little bit scuffed, but I... I love that that doesn't do any arm damage or anything. Well, let's do this Templar Lair, why not? Why not? Let's see what it is. What's in store? Will it be combat? Will it be a bunch of running around? 
Oh god, it's gonna have a 100% synchronization bonus. And if it's a running around, it's probably gonna be a time limit. Ah, pain. Kill only your target. Okay, sure. What is it, Capitano? Shh, speak softly. I am about to make you rich. I just purchased a key from a man in the market that opens the Torre della Milizia. How does that make me rich? The man <laughs> claims there is treasure in the topmost room. The stairs have partially collapsed. I need your help getting a... We are no longer alone. So you will bring the ladder to my wife? Yes. <laughs> of course I will. You are such a good friend to my family. I owe you a reward for your assistance. I look forward so to such a so gift. So, my Capitano. target is the key guy. And I, my goal is to only kill him. Hopefully I can do that. Interesting. So, ah, that's why. The creak of wood is terrifying. Makes you go, oh god, it's gonna break. But of course it's not gonna be that easy, so hopefully I'll be able to just run by. Be ready with a ladder tonight. What about my reward? Assassino! Lol. No! We will stop him! No, you won't. Wait, I wonder. I jumped through them. I hate that it. Let me up, please. That's very annoying. Reduce distance to target. Kind of hard when you're being an asshole game and knocking me down and not letting me up again. I thought there would be something there. I don't like the design of this chase. The design of the game, please. Game, please! Game, please! Climb good, you jackass of a game. Reduce distance. Hard to do when your level design is shit. Why is the auto run being bad there? Don't know why it took away control from me there when it came to the camera. Cazzo. Stay away from me, assassino. Why didn't you just kill him? Asshole game. And the, and the, oh, fuck you, Ezio. There. <laughs> Ezio refused to take aim at the fucking guy there. Instead, he did a little dance. Yeah, I did not like that chase. They're like, oh, we're gonna make it interesting, but it just felt annoying because unlike the other ones where it's like, oh, obviously I go this way and it makes for a smooth free run. And then also, again, the constant <laughs> gain distance on your target game. You are the one making it hard to do that. And not in an interesting way to me. The free running needs to be smooth, so when you have all these annoying obstacles, it makes it kind of hard to do that. It didn't do the auto. Ah, there is the automated thing that we need to do. And again, it keeps taking away control of the camera, which I still don't like because it still has the potential of fucking up my controls. 
because sometimes it'll jerk about and maybe the contextual moving will fuck up. And again, it alters how the controls work. Why? Oh, I hate it so fucking much. Because, like, what direction am I supposed to hold to have Ezio lean to the right? But then he moves. I hate it. Quit locking my control away. I hate it so fucking much. Why is it that right does that? But down... Oh, I fucking hate this. I fucking hate when it takes control of the camera away. I literally couldn't hold any direction to actually go towards the goddamn way it wanted me to. Taking the camera control away is literally anti... Like... What is the word? Anti-something. No. Just give me control of the fucking camera. I hate this. Because it obviously wants me to jump to that. But I can't hold any direction that doesn't move fucking Ezio. I fucking hate it. Why? Why do you do this? Why do you fail me so often? Yeah, because it's just, this is so fucking stupid. Oh, because apparently they don't want you to hold a direction. And despite the fact that is completely and... Co uh, I hate that. Oh, you, you know, when you actually are in control of the fucking game 90% of the time, you have to hold the specific direction in which you want to go. But apparently not in this game. And now the game isn't telling me where it wants me to go. Game, I fucking hate you. This is dumb. Oh, you know, the times where we want to tell you where to go are the times you already know. And the few times where you don't really know, well, those are the times you can fuck off. Dumb as shit, I hate that. It is honestly terrible when it does stuff like that. And again, sure, it's like it would be one thing if they actually told you, by the way, to jump to the opposite direction of where you're hanging, just press the jump button while you're hanging, in which there is no tutorial, there is no tooltip, it never says that anywhere. I hate it. Just utter garbage. Because every other time that you're climbing about and doing stuff, to jump the opposite direction, you hold that direction with the movement stick. Why is it not the same when it takes away control of the camera? I hate it. <laughs> The two things that I hate are when games take away control of the camera or control in general. Just taking away control from the player never ends well, because they always do it when they're changing stuff that really shouldn't be changed. Is it really that hard to just not fuck with the controls? Could you just do that once in your life? Can you just keep the controls constant and consistent? Like how you assume that will fucking be? I hate it. We'll gather up these treasure. I don't think we have any treasure in the bank. Hmm. We'll check out that, see how much it costs, and if we can do it, we'll renovate it, and then we'll move up here do that mission, go up here, do this mission, just make a day of it moving about. I could actually mark the thing that I'm going to move towards. But yeah, at the end of the day, I do not like it when games take control away from the player for stupid reasons. Ah, there's the hay bale. I was wondering where it was. And there's the revenue deposit, so we will be stopping by a bank if we do not have the money for it right now. Or at all, depending on how expensive it is. 
So many barbs. I want to look at things. I do not have the money for it, even if I could. Like, uh, even if I did go to the bank. Profound Sadness. We'll check out that. And just, like, meander over to the bank and make our way about. Do things. But yeah. Just. Like, when I was playing, like, uh, Final Fantasy XV. It did this weird thing where at the end of combat you would just be like stuck in place for a second or two and I hated that. Oh, I hated that so much. Because it's just like, let me control the character game. Uh, it hurts so freaking much. And speaking of that, Final Fantasy XV, I actually got kind of inspired to make YouTube videos in a different way now. They'll be much simpler than they were before. Because, yeah, I have a YouTube channel, for those that don't know, that, like, actually had edited content. So, yeah, doot, doot, and then mission, just blah, blah, blah. And while I would, like, still... Like, I still like the idea of doing highly edited video content. It's just that it is very time-consuming, and I am ever so slightly a perfectionist. Not in that it must... Like, I have certain standards. Much more like I just agonize over every frame, and it takes forever for me to get things out. So I might just make much more simplified video content in the future just so that there will be video content that exists. Kind of like uh, overly sarcastic productions, diddly -dee, uh, detailed diatribes that still have some visual content to them. They're just like uh, mostly static for the most part, except for parts where they like have a specific kind of example for what they're talking about. Basically, they're much more concise with what visual aspects they utilize in their videos, especially the detailed diatribes. So yeah, that might be a thing that I might advertise in the future, if I ever get around to making them, because again, can't really trust my diddly damn brain that doesn't like simplifying things. Also will help because, again, the video editing process is very time-consuming. And because it's very time-consuming, it makes it hard for me to do it and the other five billion things that I want to do. So, by simplifying it down, I can just more easily get to do multiple things that I want to do and just, like, kill my darlings to a certain extent. Who do I need to kill? It said speak. Game, game, speak. I'm going to stab you, game. It's Madonna Solari's death. Her brother Santino claims ownership of us. He struggles to import your favor and must prove himself leader of the courtesans. Humiliate him in public, and he loses the support of the Borgia. We will not hear from him again. I guess it, it does make sense. Stop Santino before he beats up the courtesan. Damn it, there's a freaking pickpocket that I really love to kill and take his shit because... Wait, he's coming my way. I hate you, game. Back up. Why can't Ezio's bolts ring true? Fuck off, game. Attenzione! 
I will throw off in my private gallery to lenders of the public. Ah, the Fuck off, game. Once again, fuck off, game. You are very annoying, random guards that won't leave me alone. Fuck off, game! Why have obtuse mission objectives? Why? We're gonna make it impossible to get to him. My favorite. And again, why spawn a pickpocket there? You're just an asshole, game. Intrinsic fucking time limit. Game, I was holding shove. I hate you. Fuck off. <laughs> That's such bullshit. I was holding shove, and Etsu decided to go give him a hug. Why? I just want to get to the asshole and beat him up. The game is just being an asshole and not letting me control Etsuo. What the fuck? Is it literally impossible? Like, the bonus objective is get there before he beats up the courtesan. But he starts beating her up when I get there. Game? Am I misreading the objective? Does that mean get there before he beats her up to death? Because that's not what that fucking implies. I'm gonna be very annoyed. Okay, then that... This mission objective is poorly written. Before he beats up the courtesan. That implies, like, even laying a finger on her. Not, like, lowers her HP. Better definition, you stupid piece of shit game. It's very annoying. And again, it's entirely possible that the game will be extra mean and say, oh no, you failed because he land landed one punch. He is the one punch man because he got one punch off and eternally stops you from doing this mission. Hopefully that's not it, but I am partially expecting the game to do that. Why? Why are you being a cunt? I, why? Why did he just fall to the ground like that? What the fuck? I countered your- GAME! What the fuck is this conga line of stupidity? Like, are you see? Are you seeing this shit, Applejack? This man is a worthless liar. The courtesans of Roma will never answer to him. What the fuck, game? What the fuck? What the fuck? Jesus. What happened here? I don't even know what to say about all that. All of that was very dumb. I was so, like, stuck on, like, the glitch that I completely missed. Property dispute, 100% sync, alright. But yeah, that 100%, like, oh, if you do this, it'll uh, potentially unlock more memory things, like, was poorly worded as all hell. Because when I see stop him from beating up the courtesan, I assume that means stop him before he even lays a hand on her. Before he beats her at all. Not stop him before he destroys her HP bar. That is not at all what was transferred within the medium of words when it comes to information game. 
follow that on top of the fact that the guards were just like, I'm gonna be at the most annoying place for, for you to bump into and thus waste your time, exacerbating your already poor understanding of the mission that we just refuse to actually convey properly. Loathsome submission information. Deliver the letter in under two minutes. Why do I uh, walk up to a door? That fucking bard knew I was there before I came around the corner. The bards have an Ezio sense where they're like, the motherfucker is coming, get in his way. I probably should have called a horse. How far away is he? I think I can make it. I might be able to make it, because I think I'll get there roughly with one minute to spare. That means I have one minute to find him before he is killed. Such pain as you have, I can only make that. The worst design circle ever. There we go. This is from Copernico. Thank you. Copernico. Or whatever. When it comes to time limits, I have very poor patience. And then it delivered us over here. We can do that. Then we can roundabout back to... The Restored Memory, which is DLC. And then the other Copernico mission. Well, actually, we'll go here, see if we have any money to withdraw, because I am addicted to that money bank. And then do the missions. Uh, oh, there's a Copernico mission right here. We'll do the Cortison mission, because uh, if we did that Copernico mission right there, it would be a little bit roundabout to come back for this courtesan mission whereas doing this courtesan mission it kind of ties into a nice loop that we can take advantage of let us hope that it has a nice 100% completion bonus objective that isn't painful I'll go ahead and buy the treasure map because why not And while, again, I, I don't know, is there any point to the paintings, but the paintings are hard, are more pain in the ass to buy because you have to go... Uh, basically, I'm gonna... I'm, the last thing I'm gonna get are the paintings because they are annoying, and if I start to get them now, it'll just make it more annoying in the future. Ezio, I entertained Bavarese ambassadors last night. They must have poisoned me. How? We drank from the same cup. I don't remember Maybe because what they next. like uh Come, we must find them. Built up a tolerance. Complete the mission in under four hundred section. Seconds. Four hundred seconds. Also pretty poor poison if you're able to calmly stand there. Go, Ezio, I have been poisoned. Come beat up the ambassadors for me. Then again it said punish them, so I don't know. If she wants me to kill them or beat them up, now nah, we'll be killed. Although, she is going very slow, which is ever so slightly irritating. She could have just said, hey, there they are, in this area, go beat them up. And then I could, like, return to her with the antidote or something. And that would actually make more sense because she's supposed to be poisoned. So, how is it that she's easily... Well, maybe not easily, but she's adequately walking. A little bit of stumbling due to acting, but... It just feels like they shoved in an escort mission. Maybe it was for the pun. But 
personally, I am not a fan, mainly because the game put me into an annoyed mood. He, he was there. Let's see. Was it here? He looks familiar. But... Why? I just wanted his money, man. Game. Game? It's doing the thing again! Why? Why? Okay, he died. I... I don't even know. What is with that glitch where I counter enemies, and then for a split second, I hit them with the counter, only for them to go re Uno reverse card, I live. I do not understand you, game. What, what is with that glitch? Why must it exist? So maybe that's the gimmick of this one. You beat up a bunch of random guys. Who aren't to blame, but she's been poisoned. So she can't tell the difference between anyone anywhere. Guess that makes a little bit sense, but... Like... You still could have made it faster by... Having her point to a... Uh, like, I think he's there. It looks like this. You, you poisoned me. I remember this moment. You spoke, or is it girl? Follow me. Luckily, it's not murder, so it's not all that bad. They just will wake up with a bit of a concussion and a headache. So you can check the bank while we're in the mission. How kind. There's nothing in the vault yet, which just means that there will be soon. Yeah, it's just like, it's very slow. That's, <laughs> that's the main reason why I'm disliking it right now. We're following her. She's very slow. It would be funny if the poison made her go super fast. And it was hard to keep up with her. At least then, that would be a little bit of a challenge instead of a slog. Are you going to point to the public speaker? It's him. He was the one who did this to me. That would be mildly funny. He poisoned me with his words. Is it this guy? I'm gonna assume it's this guy. Him. Get oh. him. What is this? What's this? Is this my fist? At least the animation cancel thing didn't happen there. Considering this guy has a posse. I'm going to assume that was actually them this time. They were quite poor for ambassadors. I'm sure at least two of them. Buona fortuna. And stay out of the wine, Madonna. Oh, I completely forgot that that one was time limited. If I finished that and saw... By the way, you didn't do all of it because you were too slow. I would have lost my mind. I completely forgot there was the arbitrary 100% completion bonus objective. That guy did a little bit of a jig. The hypersonic shoulder turn. The greatest dance of all time. Let's go do another Copernico mission. Will it be another time limit? Let us find out. And, you know, just to kind of continue my griping about that uh, second courtesan mission that we did, where it was like, beat up this guy before he beat up the courtesan, Shouldn't that have been the main objective, to a degree? It seemed like very easy compared to it. Like again, that was part of the reason why I thought that it was stop him from depleting her health bar, because otherwise it felt stupidly easy. Deliver the letter in under one minute. He has to be fucking close. 
Once again, probably should have just summoned my horse, but oh well. Actually, never mind, because the horse can sometimes be an ass to control. It gets caught on invisible things sometimes, it feels like. The horse can sometimes have a mind of its own. This curb probably would have made it lose its shit, so... Or maybe this will be one where you need... Please. 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 20 seconds. Why is he on the other side of a wall? Here you go, dude. Damn it. Why are there guys there? I personally think that free running should automatically push people away if you're gonna do stuff like this. God! That is a hilarious place for a body to be. God! I just wanted his body, but now I have yours too. Never mind, his body went off. Also, can find it kind of funny that you can't take the guard's crossbows. Well, to the restored memory, and then... Up there. Wonder what the restored memory shall have in store. Ha <laughs> ha! Did not know that the grab provided that much movement. That you could be flung from the roof. Once again, I find it incredibly hilarious that Assassin's Creed games are like, Oh, you want to jump off this little ledge into safety? Sorry, but we're gonna have to <laughs> force you to do a complex combination of button presses before that can happen. What's that? You just want to grab? Be gone, thought. Let's see, what this mission be? What a DLC, repressed memory, be. It's you. I must be getting lazy in my old age. I did not know you had returned to Roma. Leonardo! I heard the voice! What was that? Hephaestus email network? What? Is this the assassinations? Desmond Miles, undisclosed sender. 1506. Hello, Desmond. In your time with Rebecca, Sean, and Lucy, you may have heard about higher-level assassins aiding your team. I'm one of them. Rebecca has been instructed to give you this message if or when Ezio Auditore's 1506 memories are unlocked. Based on our historical research, we hope to acquire information of significant importance to our mission from that time period. We will be monitoring your progression through Rebecca. All of this is confidential and therefore must not be spoken of or discussed. I want to involve as few people as possible. I will inform you and Rebecca as soon as the information we are looking for has been discovered. Good luck, WM. Interesting. Still like the reconstruction of the buildings with the memory stuff. That's one of the best things visually for these games. The Da Vinci disappearance. He had a shop in Rome. Did not Salahi, know that. Is that you? It's you. I must be getting lazy in my old age. I did not know you had returned to Roma. Unfortunately, I cannot stay. I'm here to charter a ship. Let me assist Are you. Are we? I know a captain. He's very discreet. Hang on, I have the name recorded somewhere. What are you working on? Oh, this? A hobby of mine. Of course you are familiar with Pythagoras. Remind me. <laughs> the brilliant scholar from Grecia who discovered many secrets about the heavenly spheres and our cosmos. These symbols come from him? Ever since my exploration of that strange apple, they have been stamped on my mind. I found symbols like them in the writings of the Pythagorean disciples. Yeah. I am afraid the captain's name escapes me. Lol. The apple has been put to rest. Perhaps it would do you good to focus on painting. You seem to be doing decent work on this one. <laughs> you are kind. 
However, even I can see that she is badly Is it the drawn, Mona Lisa? And that smile, all nah. done, meaningless. But forget painting. I made mm. a breakthrough in my research several days ago. A huge discovery. Salai, can you bring them? Oh, he's not back. I intended to accompany you to the docks, but we cannot leave my workshop without my assistant. Bene, an easy task. I am afraid you underestimate Salai. Hmm. Wait and see. Suit yourself. You will likely find him at La Volpe Adormentata. Interesting. Do not drop below four health squares. Well, I don't have much health to begin with, so oh no. Find Leonardo's assistant, Salai, at the Thieves' Guild and bring him back to Leonardo's warden shop. Considering that's a decent ways away... This is definitely a kind of main mission length mission. Oh, never mind. It just spawned us here. Okay. Didn't expect it to just throw us in like that. Di nuovo! I told you those dice were lucky. Fortuna wishes she were as good as me. Gian Giacomo. I do not answer to that name. Salai. Better, but not good enough. Yes! Di nuovo! Leonardo, your master requests he your presence. He said yes before one of the Let dice stopped wait. rolling. No. <laughs> nice hood. Are you one of Julius's monks? My church is not of God. <laughs> Outside the kingdom of God is the realm of men. You worship there, Messere? Come with me and find out. It has been fun, but I must go. Please, do not depart. The game is not finished. Sorry, but a better offer has arisen. Lead on, Messere. <laughs> to Ezio. That's interesting. Stage directions and the subtitles. The three men from the dice game follow us. Stay quiet. Why? Sentite! I am done playing! So are we! Oh, Jesus. Get him. Oh, game! Game! He's in the cloud. That's mean. That is very stupid. Why the fuck can a guy in the cloud deal... Like, just refuse to be affected? I don't like it when games break their rules. That was majorly stupid. He was in the initial blast. who can put on a show like that. You must be Ezio Auditore. My Come. subtitles were right back to return in to Leonardo right away. You do not talk much, do you? Fine. I will run ahead. You catch up. And at least I can the best in metal work. get a bunch the best of stuff back. I have a wide range of and apparently these guys also drop. Like actual sellable items, which might be useful for shop quests. That's nice. And luckily, because we're in an allied district, quote unquote, Vlad the Impaler coins, what? But since we're in a allied district, so to speak, there doesn't seem to be any guards to be like, you are looting a dead body! Ah! Which is ever so slightly annoying. Any new money? Money. By the time I'm done with this mission, I might just be able to renovate one of the big buildings. Maybe the Colosseum. It will be interesting to see, like, how much of a punch that has to the money gains. Like, obviously, it can't be, like, a super-duper much, but it should be, like, enough to be worth renovating them beyond 
then again, the, sometimes the games can be... Oh, I think these guys, uh... Sure thing. Paler coins. Although I wonder if the shop quests are only those specific shops. It's not what I wanted, game. Well, I guess I already looted you. Funny that the enemy got caught up. I have a crossbow. And you have items on you. That alone makes it worth it to kill these guys early. Or like, not kill these guys specifically, but doing these missions give us access to these guys to kill, which then allows us to get items, which is nice. Though that does kind of make looting an obligation more than a neat thing to do, I suppose. Depending on how many shop quests there are, because I don't know, don't know how many there are overall. Yeah, this is actually do the thing. Game. Kill. Kind of rude for a normal guard to infiltrate our bash brothering here. Very silly. You have been ambushed, so we are going to punish you by having a guard come in and take their side. And we won't bother with bribing the taller man. I'll just run over everybody in my way. Surely, the more infamous I become, I'll be able to just kill one official. Yeah, and see, that's kind of why I don't really want to deal with horses. Hiding from more of the dudes, strangers do not quit. Disciples wearing similar robes appeared once before. A certain oh, are object th I really? In possession. We're tying into memory you 13, but that was terrible. Why? Leonardo told you. It tells me everything. I fear his indiscretion has cost us greatly. We must warn him. Say no more. I know the best route home. I take it every morning after the tavern's closed. Follow me. <laughs> I hope that the apple didn't, like, addle Leonardo's brain for him to be like, oh, yes, the apple. I'm going around. Please, be careful, Miss Wish I could just kill them. Because they have items. But he'll probably just run along and plus... Puts him at risk. He doesn't have a weapon. I don't. On the rooftops? Leonardo told me that he had discovered something important. He does have a knife, but I don't think he's a good fighter. I think he came to Roma to find it. I have no idea what he is like. He works on this all the time. He never takes me out. And he's so cheap. I have to beg him for money. He actually gives coins to you. More or less. Yeah. What he does not know will not hurt him. Allora. You're from Firenze. Tell me more. Fine. I will use my imagination. Be gone, people with little parasols. Why are there so many? It is too early in the day for fighting. Follow me. You say that like it's about drinking. 
Well, it's they murder o'clock somebody in the, somewhere the in the world. He found the entrance to a temple. Something he read about in his books. I've not seen him that excited in years. Did he say anything else? That the temple contains the perfect number. Something the perfect discovered number. by some scholars from Grecia. Get them! Taste my flame! Odd. Try this on for size. Attack! Get them! Taste my flame! You blocked my bullets, you idiot. Try this on for size. Fine, you want to deal with him? I have pometers to get from these dead guys. Get them! Get them! Taste my flame! Attack! You want to get back quickly? Avoid their swords. You're the one that ran into them. Knowing Leonardo, I suppose he spoke of his discovery to whomever would listen. Did you notice any robbed men around him? Why would I spend my time at the workshop when I can go out and have fun? Ask the master himself when we get there. He's quite forgetful now. He forgot to keep get... Why? Why, game? Why? It's like he came back purely to try and kick me off again. I don't think... Like, I think that characters that you're kind of in an escort mission with should be intangible and you should just be able to walk through them and not be collisioned off of your parkouring. Just my own personal thoughts on the matter there. Apparently they don't know me. Because I don't need to hide, apparently. Bard man, why? Again, directly from a cr before I even entered the normal roadway, exited the alley. He was there. He can smell me. Not the, not the Mona Lisa. Maestro. And they took him. No, he must be here. The temple he discovered. Where is it? Leonardo. There was something written on the ground. Salai, you want to save him? Tell me where the temple is. I do not know. Cazzo. Ezio, something is written on the floor. What does it say? I cannot read. Leonardo promised to teach me, but now... Villa. Paintings. He wants us to examine art. I remember when Leonardo lived at your villa, he was researching the location of the catacombs. Several of his paintings hung in the gallery there. What do they have to do with the temple? Perhaps the pages of his research are hidden in one of the frames. The paintings are gone. They all burned in the attack. No, they did not. Only Leda and St. John, the Borgia, took the rest. Interesting. Six paintings. Five. I told the art merchant that portrait of a lady was by Leonardo. I needed the money for a doublet. <laughs> of course, now it has gone out of fashion. Who has the paintings now? You're Lucrezia a silly little Borgia, boy. In her husband's palazzo outside Ferrara. Then it is time I took back what was stolen. Interesting. And now they're a collectible? Interesting. Or is it a mission? Nope, it is a specifically a mission. Interesting. Oh, they're... Oh, thief building. I was like, is that a mission? No, it's a thief building. I'll do this Copernico mission. Again, probably saying it wrong. Maybe come back, see if I can do any of these shop quests, get them out of the way. Come on down, activate any thief assignments, maybe do the Romulus lairs. But yeah, interesting that they're, like, uh, tying in Memory 13, which just felt weird. Memory 
13. Again, felt like it didn't really belong in Assassin's Creed 2. Revenue deposit made, zero florins added to the bank. What? I'm gonna have to go immediately to a bank to see what the fuck that's about, because... That's not right at all. I swear, if it actually did break and go no money for you, that's gonna be some of the biggest glitches I've run into in this game. And that's mostly just funny ragdoll stuff. And then... LOL. You can't counter these guys glitch. And if we actually did get cheated by the bank not depositing anything. Like, that would actually be the biggest glitch of all. Then why did it pop up? <laughs> so maybe it's not a glitch and more just like for some reason, like maybe it was just a misfiring of the information prompt. But that makes it seem like one of my 20 minutes was stolen from me. I don't know, that just seems odd. This is all very confusing if you ask me. So I'm gonna take that as just because we renovated a thing, which then added more bonus money that can then be deposited. For whatever reason, the bank notification went off, despite the fact that it wasn't meant to go yet. Deliver the three letters in under three minutes. Oh, again, it's gonna be painful. Why do you have so many distractions in the game? <laughs> At least this one. I got to you before you were dead. Then I will hide. Thank you. So this is a time accumulation mission. Hi. I feel like they put bards here. Why? Horseman, why were you, like, intentionally going out of your way to block me off? Why would you shame yourself? They intentionally put this guy up here. Read these and get to safety. Up on the stairs. Ever so slightly mean. And then that guy is all the way away. Once again, don't know why the game can't be like, ah, yes, it is safe to go down there. Quick jump down by holding the right trigger. No. Why is that not a thing? That feels like it should be a basic thing that's automatically in the game forever. So many Borgia gods. Fuck off, hey. rich man, and your stupid hair. Why is there so many, like, variable, like, heights? Because he could be below. He could be up. I don't know where the fuck he's going to be. I chose correctly that time. Take these. It is from Copernicus. Fear Grazie. gripped my heart there a little mean to put a guy at a place that had, like, a fork in the path that could lead one way or another. I do not like that. Be gone, handstand man. You did a super backflip thanks to me. Let's do this. See what happens. Because why not? I don't think that was a super jump. Oh, it's not even renovating. It's just, I bought it. That's kind of amusing. 
ever so slightly funny. So let's see. Da, 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 da. Ah, uh, yes. I was going to spend my... Well, I guess it doesn't really take much money for that, so... By then, hopefully, there will be a deposit of monies. So, what we'll do is we'll run here, see if we can do any of the shop quests, renovate the empty faction building. Then, I guess, activate any thief assignments there might be. Lairs of Romulus, faction building... Lair of Romulus, Copernico, assassination missions, just a bunch of side things to do. Could do a main mission, but why would we actually want to progress things when there's five million things? Why do this? Please, I have no enemy. I, I sing a different song. I promise. It's not your songs, it's you getting in my goddamn way. So that's literally all it is. Die. Okay. All of you will die. Ah, a mercenary challenge has been completed. There we go. Now we're no longer close to being notorious. Notorious Ezio. We'll just get there, see if there's any money to take Bless out. Him. Probably won't be because we only just recently tried and there wasn't anything, but still, doesn't hurt to try, I guess. See if we have the items for the shop quests. And pray they're not like, ah, yes, and now I need 100,000 florins. <laughs> Get out of my way. And then I think that we'll do a bit of, uh, before we continue the disappearance of Leonardo, we'll do a few main missions. Oh, there's a bank right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Salute. Granted, I think... You lost your mind? We'll check Far when we get there. See, so give it maximum time to roll in money before checking. Since it's in the area of where we need to be to do things anyway. Interesting way of putting buildings. I would say. Normal. Aha! See? Perfect timing. Perfect timing to draw a little bit of extra money. Weapons Let's see. Of the finest. Can I do your shop quest? Nope. I do have some things, but not all the things. Well, I'll be here, Get to the other shop quest. It's on the other side of the wall. Luckily, with the other Come shop quest. Come and get your rare. Come and get your rare. Dang it! I need a pop of a silvaticum. Not next time, then, sir. It's not my fault I that you have a landish taste. Then what do you require? More silk. So I can't do any of the shop quests. Profound sadness. All that's there is shop quests. God, I'd love to sell some of these, but I'd inevitably sell a shop quest item. And as said, we'll grab that. I guess grab those. Activate thief assignments. 
Romulus, thingy things, Romulus, whatever. Just follow the line of potential things to do. And lament if they are uh, mean. Not my fault you're all in the way. And I am the main character. Everyone make way. The main character is here. And just keep putting thieves everywhere. Kind of wish that there was like a small bonus for like uh, if you put thieves in a district, you like get more money. If you put courtesans in a district, you get something else. Put mercenaries in a district, you get something else. I don't know, something. Who knows, maybe it does and it just never told me. Much like it never told me about the fact that if it takes away camera control, you can just press the jump button and it will jump in a direction that you are, like, supposed to go, I guess. Still hate that it takes control away from me. A lot of the time. Very mean. The camera is sacred. Why take away control? Since we're far away, but now out of the city. I summon horse. Come along, horse. We ride to activate the thieve assignments. I'm gonna admit, it's kinda stupid that you have to activate the thieve assignments and the courtesan assignments. They should have just been like the assassination contracts where they just go, this is activated now, you can go do them. Just for some reason, they're like, no. You have to talk to La Volpe and your mother to activate these missions. Just feels ever so slightly silly. Out of the way, little man. Oh, I didn't break his box. Why is it whenever I want to knock people down, the game says, No, clearance! But when I'm just trying to go to places, the game goes, no clearance. Just feels a little bit mean. Ever so slightly mid. Well, let's head inside. Right, and now I need to go to the back room to activate them. Ezio. I stand you in this corner all day. The thieves in Roma are young, skilled but young, prone to rivalries. Another gang. West Side Story. The cento occhi, Cesare Borgia's bootlickers. They cause a significant trouble. Where can I find them? My thieves will show you. Now those are added. You feeling lucky, amigo? Can't believe that Ubisoft added gambling. Hazard game rules. First roll, rolling the throw-in, 7 or 11, wins the game with a payout of 1 to 2.2. Rolling the throw out, 2, 3, or 12, loses the game and your stake. Roll anything else and the number thrown becomes the, uh, the chance. Roll again for the chance roll. Chance roll. Rolling the chance wins the game with a payout that changes depending on what the chance is. Rolling the main 7 loses the game and your stake. Keep rolling the dice until the main or chance comes up. Chance roll payouts. Chance of 4, 10, 1 uh, to 3.5. Uh, whatever. There we go. 
wish that I could just change the numbers individually. All right. I shall quit there. I am now a world champion of winning the hazard game. I won once. I have a 100% win rate. Or in the world of Overwatch 2, 3,282% win rate. Because yes. Why did you come up? I already did you, but fine. We shall activate you again, I guess. Why not stop and see what I have here? This Anish? game is having a seizure, I, exactly I think. Need. Just slowly it is flipping out on me. The guards decide to no-sell counters. Synchronization points that I have already done decide to show up on the map again. And it's still here. Why is it here? Why is there a synchronization point that I've already done showing up in the world? If you seek fair prices for quality work, you I don't believe you. Well, let's go do this lair of Romulus. See what madness befalls me here. Will it be another chase? Will it be like a horde mode? And I have to smiggity smack a bunch of wolf guys. Hey, hey! And just have to hope that they don't manage to one up me and pound my ass. And there's just a pyramid here. There's a pyramid here? There's a pyramid here. Why is there a pyramid here? For 28,000. Well, Romulus Lair, here we go. Let's -a go. I wonder what the 100%. And I still need to go back on my own time and replay the first R Romulus Lair in the memory menu to do the 100% completion. Let's -a go. Complete the memory within eight minutes. Is that just gonna be the entire thing? Complete it in eight minutes each and every time. That feels boring. I don't like time trials that are forced onto. Time trials with fucking treasure. I guess I could just gather the treasure as I go and just not care about the time trial and just do the time trial later? I don't know. But yeah, I am not a fan of like, optional time- Go, go! Ezio! Why did it- does it stall like that sometimes? Sometimes the game is just like Ezio is here to be a dipshit. Do not like it. Who knows, maybe this will just be a very simple one to do. Would be funny. But again, this is going to be more than... Okay, that's just treasure. I don't care. That is also treasure. Did I fuck up? Okay, I just went the wrong way, I guess. I think. It's a maze. Yeah, good. That's my favorite thing in the world. We're gonna make a maze and then make it a time trial. That's my favorite thing. Am I going backwards? I don't know anymore. The moment we get to the icon, it's gonna be like, psych, more things to do. And 
and I don't enjoy that. It feels like it's kind of cheating to go... Yeah, we know that we advertised doing one thing. And again, why is it a maze? Why is it a maze? I don't like mazes, especially in video games, because they're like made to be bullshit. And when things are made to be bullshit, it's just not fun. Why? I am enraged. And again, I'm just... Like, I don't even know. This is the way. Actually kind of looks like it. I need to complete it within. So either this is it or more segments. Seems like more segments. So is this a climb down puzzle? Okay, I, can... I am angry. Well, maybe I can just do this. Fuck it. Nope. Game is mean. I tried to jump down to g grab onto the other side, and the game's like, oh, you want to hang? Why is that so inconsistent? Sorry, you don't get to do the things you want to do. Such great game design, man. Eh? Oh, never mind. Get, get, get. Why can't you just grab what's there? <laughs> God damn it. I want to grab the wall. Ezio says fuck you and jumps anyway. Game. Once again, just not a fan of time trial, quote unquote, optional things. Because time trial, quote, uh, I hate mazes. Man made mazes are just stupid. They're made them waste your time more than anything. I hate them. I hate them because they are never done to be mazes normally. They're just there to be bullshit. <laughs> but it leads to treasure, and this is a time trial. Mazes and time trials do not fucking match. I hate it. Oh, it's fucking flag. Why? I don't care. Just why? I hate mazes in video games because they're never actually mazes. They're just time wasters. Especially because, my, how convenient that the uh, time trial maze, or like the maze, has a time trial. And it just never ends. It's gonna be the same thing again, isn't it? I am going to get to the point of- I seek those who lead the followers of Romulus. Yeah, once again, this is gonna be a, I'm gonna make it partially on the way up, only for the game to go Da da da. <laughs> right as I'm about to get there, and it'll say, OMG, you failed. And I hate it. I do not like time trials 
as like, do this mission, but fast. Especially when the mission was made to waste your time. I do not like that. And again, because there isn't an actual, like, uh, time dealy, I don't know what does and doesn't Perfect. waste time to me. Up if I fall. Like, who knows? Maybe the time was... Game, 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 jump! <laughs> you asshole. Where can I take control away from you? Because he's saying things. Is this the... Jump back time? No, it's... Okay, good. Still, I think we're not out of the woods yet. We're probably still gonna get the... Ooh, you almost did it for our bullshit time trial that was made to waste your time. Succeeded, and you didn't get there in time, so you have to do this entire thing again if you wanted 100% it. Which is just annoying. I'm going to shank someone! Where? What? What the fuck? I hate man-made maces! <laughs> I am enraged. Where do I go? Which way? Man-made mazes are bullshit. I hate these. So much. Once again, these are just made to waste your time. And not spark any kind of joy. More? More? Dear God, these are way too long. Or does this count as winning? Because I finally found them. Let that count. Praise God, let that please be counting. What must we do to this trespasser? Because I found. Do not listen! Only the Borgia speak to him! Not your god! Hopefully, that counts because I reached them in eight minutes. But that's probably not what the game means. It probably literally means. Oh, fuck off. And the thing is, I can't even stop to loot these guys to see if they have anything. Like, other pseudo kind of boss people. Or, like, special enemies, because... Time limit! Because, you know... Or, maybe I could game Get off the fucking ledge! Asshole game! I hate you, game. You're fucking stupid. I hate this. Why? Seriously. Whoever designed these 100% completions never get a job in gaming again, you're an asshole. These are stupid. They mean nothing. They're just fluffy bullshit, and I hate it. Again, the time-wasting level demands you. It's like, again, it just makes it so you can't even play the game, which is so fucking stupid. Oh, what's that? You want to actually fight guys? No, fuck you, time you trial. Come, one of the other tunnels will lead us to him. It's just such bullshit. Just why? Why ever have anything that's just like, we're gonna waste your time. <laughs> Win by uh, not wasting your time. Such bullshit. It's almost like time trials bolted onto missions shouldn't exist. And they should be things that are specifically about being a time trial. Yeah, that's just very stupid. Just very stupid. 
Especially when they're like, Oh, only 50%. Fuck you, game. You intentionally made an annoying mission. And again, I thought it was, Ooh, find the followers of Romulus. And was like, Ooh, eight minutes, did that count? No. Finish it in eight minutes. But we're gonna make it very annoying. Did the head director of Memory Sequence 13 of Assassin's Creed 2 get a promotion or something? Because these feel just as insecure. The person making these. No, it can't be easy. It has to be bullshit or else gamers will win. Ezio, they said you were coming, but I did not believe it. The Cento Occhi have challenged us to a brawl. Little risk for them since they have greater numbers, but they will not be expecting you. I am the protagonist, yes. They will arrive soon. Ready yourself. Survive the fight without any thieves being knocked out. Oh boy. My allies are in the way. I am already finding this bullshit. Let me up, please. I didn't throw a punch. Game. The targeting system in this game is kind of ass. It's not fun. Game, let me do shit. Asshole game. Thank you, Combo. Ally, you're in the way. Get comboed. Huzzah! We'll go do this other mission, then that Romulus treasure, I guess. And then just be expecting yet another, do it in eight minutes. Yeah, because that's also something that's kind of very dumb on top of it. Not only is it annoying because by itself it is just a time trial on a mission meant to waste your time. But it's just a repeat of the first Romulus lair completion objective which is once again do it in X amount of time how inspired did you break your back thinking that one Jack like actually come up with something interesting why don't you like find all the hidden treasure of the Romulus lair that would be interesting and it's actually rewarding you for finding the treasure. Because, again, it is impossible to do that Romulus treasure thing while also getting, like, while also going through and actually getting the hidden treasure that is there. I genuinely think that the time spent, like, grabbing the treasure, opening it up, like, even if you did everything else perfectly, I don't think it's physically possible. So it's just like, why is it there then? Aside <laughs> from the game designer of that specific challenge to just be ho ho ho, I'm an asshole. There is no point to putting secret treasure Bring me your sick in a time trial. Wait. We might have already done this one. Nope, because I was going to think that maybe you could replay the Romulus tr uh, like lair things whenever and their icons just change color 
if they were finished, but nope, it just seems that this is a different colored one. It's your auditory, Perviana. <laughs> I have heard stories about your speed. Let us see if you can match mine. What does this have to do with your Hundred Eyes opponents? See, at least this one makes sense because it is a race. So... Having a time limit of like, ooh, complete in this amount of time for super completion at least makes sense. Because it's a race. Not a stinking dungeon that's just boring now because you can't actually focus on the dungeon because it's a time limit now. Being able to play the game? No, agonizing. I fucking hate the controls sometimes. Oh no, don't actually make it so that the free running is compatible normally. No. I don't know. Fuck off. Why would it point to the left if you can't just go that way. Asshole game. Fucking bullshit. We're gonna... And then, I wouldn't have been angry if not for the fact that the goddamn game intentionally juked me by forcing Ezio to not go the way Ezio should have gone. Fuck off, you auto-run piece of shit. Game. If you're gonna have parkour, have it function. Why would I want to jump towards the wall when there is a ledge? Game! Look me in the eyes and tell me that makes sense. See? That's more what I expect. And now the music is broken because the game is like, you used the restart memory button. Yes, I did, and you gave it to me. But you're not supposed to use it. Now. Stupid ass game. With stupid ass objectives. Why? Piece of shit. That is so fucking bullshit. Why the fuck would I jump like that? I have to go like this because it pointed in the wrong direction. Game, please. Game, please. Why? Why? <laughs> Why in the world would I ever want to do that? Fuck you, you piece of shit game. Such garbage. <laughs> but it's like, oh, do you want to hang down when there is an area that you can run to? Whenever I actually want to hang down, the game's like, no, you can't go down. When I want to go forward, the game is like, hey, would you like to go down to the place that you have no reason for going to when there is contextual running things right in front of you? Dear Lord. And again, the cool music isn't there anymore, because I used a function the game has. Brilliant programming. Why the fuck? That's such bullshit. Like, seriously. It's pointed to the left. Kind of diagonally, I guess. But still. very mean to have it pointed in that direction and I have to walk because the game is a dick why 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 get you are a dumbass piece of shit game the auto running only ever doesn't work when it knows fuck off Notice how I had no trouble getting into the center of that aqueduct when I w lost the 
time trials special speedy bonus. But the moment that I'm like, oh yeah, I'm on track for doing this, the game said, I'm going to not work now. Again, would be nice if I could just, like, hold the right trigger and go, hey, can I just gently go down a level because it is right there? But that just doesn't exist in this game. I feel like the free-running mechanics could use a little tightening up. I don't know why. This just seems like to be Assassin's Creed Brotherhood stream. The stream in which everything is broken. Oh, that's what this is. This is the treasure where once we get the six pieces of the key, we can unlock it. That's what this is. Okay. That makes sense. I thought it would be like a little dibbity da down there to find the truth or whatever. But yeah, I am just exceedingly annoyed that the game only ever seems to wig out on the free running when I am on a time limit. And I just do not know why. And, like, some of them can maybe make sense sometimes, but you'd think that the game would be like, ah, oh, there you are holding the free run sprint button. That means that you want to sprint and or free run. So he won't jump you down to the lower areas that you don't want to go. Like, basically, it won't force you to jump off. It will prioritize jumping you to places that you can actually free run to. And since we're back here at the Coliseo, I'm gonna do a quick runabout, because I think I know where it is. And by that I mean I looked it the fuck up, because honestly... Fuck off. Let me guess, 5 billion? 46,000. So definitely up there. And now I need to climb up to eventually be able to hang off the edge. Game. In what world does that make sense, free run system? In what world does that make sense? I am trying to climb and free run. Why in the world would if I free running from here? Would the game go, oh, you would like to go down and take damage from fall damage? Dipshit game. Why would anyone carry on like that? I was literally just running, you asshole. But it would be nice if the game could, like, try to function sometimes. <laughs> now I need to find specifically... Let's see. nice if climbing the Colosseo was ever so slightly easier, considering they have shit up here. Could have sworn. So was it this area? Because I think... Because I... Hmm, it was kind of... Ah, there it is. Ever so slightly flashy. I was just wondering which side it was going to be on. I saw it out here, then I had to go in, climb up a bit, and I was like, hmm. I just had an inkling of a feeling that it was this way. 
but I think I am slightly wasting my time, because I think I have to actually climb from the top. Seriously, why can't there just be a few extra bricks to get up there? That's just an asshole decision to be like, no, you have to climb all the way up and then, like, do a ledge grab back down. Why? That provides nothing of substance to this. At all. Once again, would be nice if the glyphs would... And, like, it, it, it does feel like certain decisions were made out of malice with this game. The glyphs don't show up unless you are using Eagle Vision 24-7, which is just a downgrade. I totally should be able Why? Why, game, why? I was holding left, you asshole game. I do not have any patience for stupidity right now. Yeah, it just feels like certain little things were made just a little worse in some regards. You can't climb jump. I was gonna flip my lid if the game decided to go, haha, fuck you, you jump down, down there, instead of trying to get down. That honestly would have just been unacceptable by my brain. Especially after all of the issues I've run into with the free running right now. No passions. No passions whatsoever. Absolutely zero none. Right Loading. now. Scanning. 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 Oh great, what the AI is I? becoming real. What I lost. Oh, give me a home. Well, that's disturbing. Sorry, Loading. AI music. Let's actually load the cluster. Democratic nations were built, each led by a powerful vizier known today by a different name, who made a move to block the Templar advance. Uh... That's a bad move. You could have no, baited no. it with the bishop. Alright, it's this again, the odd one that, from a bolt of electricity, governments fell. Incorrect coordinates. Incorrect coordinates. Correct coordinates. Alright, so... Kind of Omega symbol three. Oh, it's just a horseshoe. I'm dumb. Horseshoe three, which would make seven a half peanut. But like without a circle friend half peanut. There we go. All right. Five is double X. Which makes three... Well, let's find Horseshoe with a squiggly. Horseshoe with a squiggly. Well, that's obviously not it. Ah! Utter pain and misery. Why? Come on, man. Double X is five, but none of this has any, like, or maybe it does. Okay, I think I'm seeing a bit of a pattern. 
Seven is Horseshoe here. Horseshoe with a notch is two. Directly across. Squiggly line nine is kind of squiggly line with a line at four directly across. The half thing peanut is like a half filled in circle at six directly across. So I'm going to assume that three is dashes, but extra. Let's see. Is it just four dashes? Four dashes. There we go. All right. One squiggly line with line makes that squiggly. Uh, let's see. Then means the like a sister of double X, which is probably that. Triple line two. Then comes nine double X. Hopefully this is right, and I'll feel nice. I feel nice! I figured out the puzzle! Loading. Restricted handling, classified message, subject South America. If we are to ensure the company's success, company agents must be able to move freely from country to country and maintain power within all of them. A global international order must be re- uh, must be implemented. Re, Argentina. Tell the capitalists that if they help ensure the junta remain in power, we will pass all their corporate debt on to Arge the Argentine people. That will ensure they crush any popular revolt. I want the trade unions destroyed if we are to move forward. Chile. The free market must be allowed to prevail. F's visit last year helped things along, but now all public companies need to be sold to the private sector, ideally on the cheap. The price of bread and other staples must rise. I want to ensure that people remain marred in poverty and unable to resist. Any traces of this plan should appear to implicate the U.S. government. The company's involvement must remain hidden. For successful examples of a similar opening of the markets, look no further than the 1953 liberation of Iran and the 1954 liberation of Guatemala. Interesting. Loading. So really, the, zone. so really just... That's way too much text for me to give a shit about <laughs> moving the little magnifying glass across. Like, are you kidding me? I'm not gonna read a whole ass paragraph that I need a invisibility magnifying glass to read. But there we go. This cluster is done. We are free from the eagle vision. Again, would have been nice if the glyphs were just visible. Out in the open, as usual. Don't know why. We're going to be right in front of a Copernico. We'll go ahead and do the Copernico. And then be laid siege against the next time trial. Because it's going to be another goddamn time trial in the Romulus lairs. Because the designer for those missions was lazy. How many of your friends are Our dead? All letters are delivered. While you were gone, I determined the most likely source of these strange attacks. The master of the sacred palace. That's Who an interesting that? name. A Dominican, appointed by the Pope, who ensures that Roman religious philosophy remains pure. He never liked my studies to begin with. Now that I have crossed the Templars, he has clearly retaliated. Where can I find him? Cardinals Where can I kill him? congregate nearby. Follow one of them. The master likes to greet each one. Perhaps you will hear more conclusive interesting. evidence. Kill no one while following the Cardinal. Hopefully the game isn't mean about it. I just don't understand why some of these, like, are very simple. Like, hey, don't kill, like, kill only this one person. Kill three characters with the hidden blade. And then some of them are just stupid. Like, hey, complete this dungeon run in eight minutes. When an optimal dungeon run of first time dungeon run that is optimal was probably nine minutes. 
Like, it seems like they intentionally timed those two Romulus layers, at least, to be intentionally bullshit. I'm just gonna be honest. Oh, but there's something you need to learn, but they're not fun to do. Especially because you keep throwing treasure in there and going, hee-ho, wouldn't you like to get these, but you can't. It'd be one thing if the time trial was capable of being done and getting the treasure along the way with the time to spare, but no. I will let you bully me so that you can get your aggression out. Because the mission told me not to kill people while tailing the Cardinal. Also, why is the Cardinal so fucking far away? I didn't think I'd actually have to put a diddly D there. Look where you're going! Look where you're going! How about I shove you into the sewer and watch you die? You stupid NPC man, admonishing me for playing the game. Imagine being a guy on a horse telling me to look where I'm going. My dude, you are stomping on people with your horse. If you were in real life, in present day, you would bring your horse to a football game, specifically so you could trample people to death as you storm the field. Did he say your daughter? No, I don't kill women, apparently. I don't think I've killed a single female person in this entire series. Like, story-wise. Once again, we begin with him facing me like a jerk. I don't think I could blend in with cardinals while a cardinal is walking about. Oh, that's a whole restricted ass area. Interesting. Hmm. Considering that this is a whole place, but there is that line. Hmm. I almost want to come and explore that. I hide behind a place. Kind of mean to not give me any blending in options there. There was the hay bale, but he probably would have weaked out the moment I got too close. He's coming to kill me! As I jump into the hay bale. Don't know. <laughs> the AI on the beggars is weird. Apparently, they only want to harass people who are out in the open. I steal from the beggar. The beggar woman. No, no, no. I'm not following you. I'm just getting in with the group, having a nice conversation. Don't make me headbutt you. But I wrote it for you. The beggar women know I'm coming. They demand my blood. For a moment there, I was going to get angry if the beggar women 
like actively make it impossible for you to go into a hiding spot. I steal from all the bigger women. It's not my fault you can't keep track of your coin while walking by beggar women. That would be interesting. If, like, if you stole somebody's pocket money while in front of a poor person, if they would accuse the poor person instead of you. Classism. Also, does anybody in real life look behind them this much? Like, who isn't, like, a woman afraid for her life? So, a woman? Man. Any news of Copernico and the others? Nothing. Those fools. Inundating the people with their theories. We can barely contain the populace as it is. I have dispatched my best guards to deal with them. I trust they will make quick work of it. And must stop them. Um. Kill all the executioners in under five minutes. Locate and kill all the executioners sent by the master of the sacred palace to murder the scholars. Lead is good for the liver, you say. As executioners, they are guards on roofs. That is not an executioner. I have to kill them all in under five minutes. And there is once again no time limit. Why? Why can't you even have just an optional objective time trial thing? I just feel like that would be just the tiniest bit of a thing that would make me not angry at the game. My dude, I have people to kill. Leave me alone. You are the one that saw me coming and decided not to do anything. I'm a guard. I don't have to make way. Was he on the roof? He's on the goddamn roof again. I guess it kind of makes sense, because this is the most, like, building-centric place, but... Game. Very rude to have a running targets. Especially when I just... I get near them. There isn't any... Oh, hey! That guy! He is after me! Like chance of being stealthy. Just the game going, screw you, he knows. Oh, they... Kill! Kill! Hug attack. Did the, did the vigilantes, or whoever... Just say, he must have the assassin on his trail. I am the assassin. Take your health seriously, good 
I'm going to assume that it's on the roof again, because that's just feeling how things go here. And they auto start running. Okay. Very rude game. The fact that they start running the moment that you point your weapon, like not even point the weapon, but like you lock onto him, I feel that's a bit dirty. The other dudes don't automatically get aggroed when I lock onto him. That felt wonky. And also, it took us very far away. Let's see. Where's the nearby bank? We'll head to the bank. Do that thief mission. And then go back to Copernico. But yeah, that just felt like a... Specifically... A, that felt like a very specific thing to do. In that the game went out of its way to have guards on rooftops who automatically run away from you when you target them in a mission in which there is a time trial bonus objective. That is asshole design. I'm not having it. That is asshole design. Bonus objectives do not give you credence to just be like, I am going to make this the most boring bonus objective ever. Like, have it be something interesting, like kill like three of the guards with three different weapons. Or kill all the guards with the crossbow. But then again, that doesn't really work with... And, like, you can rework it so that the, uh, like, yeah. guards on the rooftops don't automatically run when you're targeting them, but rather run if they see you so that it could be, hey, kill them all with the hidden blade. Just, I don't know, just get rid of the time trials. They're boring and lazy. Ezio, you must have my brother, Aldo. It was Banditi took him. Please, and it is it is lazy because they don't anyone. have to actually think of anything interesting for you to do. All of them are time trials. <laughs> I hate this. Why are all of them time trials? This is boring. Make them interesting. Like have the missions actually have like interesting side objectives. And not just, hey, do mission, but fast. Because that's just so unbelievably boring and bothersome. And it almost incentivizes so, like level designers or mission designers to make them bad. All right, it just decided not to. I wish I just gun. Oh, gun, gun. Interesting that that guy was like, take three bullets. Dear God, I hope that the game doesn't start throwing guys like that at me at the Borgia Towers and has them be runaway guys. That would just be bullshit. But that also makes me feel like they're gonna do that. Because the games love to go, But my difficulty. But my challenge. Far too many games worry about overcomplicating their difficulty. Since we're right here, we'll do this assassination challenge. 
Please don't be a time trial bonus objective. I beg of you. Kill both targets of hidden blight. Thank you! In an attempt to scare the citizens of Roma, the Borgia hired two notoriously cruel guards to beat up anyone they see. Remove them from the streets to give the people hope. And you know what? I think we're going to do this, and then we're gonna do one main mission just to move things along, because this is Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and we haven't even gotten to the Brotherhood part of this game. And I've just been very busy with side questing. And rebuilding lots of Roma, when I should have probably been doing, uh, you know, missions and shit. But at the same time, in my defense, the game is throwing out a ton of side missions. And gives you a ton of side missions to do. Like, it's not only just introducing the concept of them. It's just that they throw a bunch of them that you can do right now as well. You want to know one thing that I would do with the free run system? A kind of lock on. I would add a small lock on mechanic so that you can tell the game where you're going to be free running. That way, the free running can be free and smooth. Because that is one of the main issues of this game, is the free, like, uh, and the Assassin's Creed franchise as a whole is the contextual nature of the free running. If I was, like, a head director person of an Assassin's Creed game, I would definitely have, like, I don't know, the left bumper be assigned to be a free run guide so that you can tell the game, hey, that obstacle, I'm going to free run there. And the game will prioritize free running to it. Are you suffering the infernal swamp malaria? Just to like, you know, make the game a bit more friendly. Oh god. I missed the jump. Why did they get rid of the climb jump beyond lol Ezio old? See, like, more like that. More that are actually interesting. But, uh, actually, yeah, we'll do the Copernico, and then we'll do a main mission. Because the Copernico actually feels like a mini main mission anyway. And I just, I don't want to do a Romulus lair right now. And you know what? Since we have a ton of money, and it's in the area... Let's buy the Colosseo. We should have enough money to do it. And that will just, like, clear it off a little bit. Hopefully it might bump up our revenue. Because it's the freaking Colosseo and it's super expensive. But who knows. I could probably summon my horse. But yeah, I just, I am beginning to loathe the sheer amount of time trials the game is obsessed with putting as the secondary objectives for 100% memory synchronization. Because it's just so lazy. Especially consi- You'd think that with the amount of, like, lull, 5 billion time trials, as 100% synchronization bonus objectives, you'd think that somebody would have gone, hey, maybe we should uh, put a timer on all of these specifically for the side objective. You'd think that somebody would have gone and gone ahead and like thought of that. Be hilarious if this got fixed up. I don't think that increased my income all that much. But hey, it's out of the way now. It'll never haunt me again. Except for that, uh, lair I have to do in there, but... I don't think I'll be climbing the Colosseo for that. I killed executioners. You are right. 
The master intends to kill you. I will not let his bullying stop my research. It's not bullying. It is a threat Tonight against your life, my dude. I intend to chronicle it. But the master hunts for you. Better to die enlightened than to live in ignorance. His end will come much sooner than yours. That's an interesting still frame. Kill the master with a hidden blade. Now that... That can be done. I'm going to mark it because he could be very far away. He is decently far away. Kill the master and I'll kill him with the hidden blade. See, I think that all of the 100% synchronization should be stuff like that. Not freaking time trials. Once in a while, once that makes sense, like the thief race, which was then hampered by the game going, lol, contextual free running decides to have a seizure. Because I just, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Kill him with the hidden blade, eh? Hey, when do you think <laughs> the last time that <laughs> was <laughs> stolen? Get that works. Annoying, but that works. Silencing the truth will not stop its spread. People are lazy. They will believe what we tell them to believe. He's not wrong. I have sent my best man to find Copernico. You are already too late. Convenient that you sent your best man right when I came for you, and not all the rest of the time that you could have sent your best man. So Copernico is probably dead. Why couldn't I have given Copernico over to somebody that I trust to guard? More than likely, if I knew history, I could probably go, oh yeah, Copernico, he's a doomed man. Much like, uh, the, uh, what was her name? Katarina of, uh, Forley. I read her bio. And it basically screamed, yeah, she's gonna fucking die a painful end. Look where you going. You can't tell me what to do, I'm a main character. Horse? Horse, why? It is a it is a fence horse! Why couldn't you just climb it? Like not climb it, but jump it. Sent your best man, huh? All twenty of him. Aha! Now we have No, not that gun. Why is using the gun with the sword? I'm tr fuck off. That is actual bullshit. That was actual bullshit. Is the world not marvelous? But it's hilarious no. that using the gun you with the sword so is faster than using the gun. You will find it all makes more sense that way. Perhaps. Cesare thinks himself the center of it all. But he circles the periphery with the rest of us. Did you know that the sun is most likely the midpoint of the universe? Not 
The Earl? I just see throws that out there. <laughs> of the moon and stars, and yet I can only observe. So much is unknown to me. This age of reason is but the beginning of an end I will never see. Someday we will be able to influence this world, to exploit the power of human will, to harness light, and perhaps even travel into the heavens. But I am getting I ahead like of Pernico. myself. But his missions First, will probably come to an end. Sun spinning at the center. I believe what you say is possible. You should not accept my word. Not until I have proof. Another reason to Sun. like Copernico. Buonanotte, Ezio. And thank you. Oh, and all the bodies disappeared. But they could have been looted! They could have been looted, damn it! Copernico's missions went over rather quickly, all things considered. But now, we shall go... Well, actually, let's see. Let's actually make use of the fast travel system. We'll use the fast travel system to get closer to the main mission. We'll check out the bank, get whatever money we can from it. Then we'll head over, see if any of the shop quests can be done, doubtful. And just diddly D. Why does it say that there is a fast travel point, but I cannot go there? Fine, I'll take that one, it's closest anyway. Closest that I can actually access. Check the bank, check the shop quests, do the mission! Pigeons gather on ledges, and if you haven't learned that yet in the four games, like, well, Eh, kind of. The three games that have been here this entire time, well, then you're a fool. There, check out the quests. Be oh so tempted to sell things. But not want to at the same time because any number... Who knows when I will need a jar of leeches for a mission. And again, just why the fuck is this kind of place even exist? Bulldoze one of these houses, make a through road. It's a video game. So what if some pixels can't live anymore? It's not like I'll go to hell for every Goomba that I murdered. Goombas don't have souls. But bank, shop quests main mission and beg to god that things go nicely <laughs> I could have sworn maybe I just did a mission and it popped up ah oh, value went up when I could have sworn that it said money had been injected into my veins and nope I'm still missing a lot of things you are a greedy man who will die cold and alone. Do you want me to murder you, lady? Do not tempt me. Due to increasing the amount. Let's see, do I have the exceedingly rare thing? Nope, I still need a Papaver Silvaticadum. For our next time, yes? Please, many other items to harmonize your... What of you? Nope, I still require silk. I think I got one more silk than I had before. But that is quite a bit of side content down at the very least. So we should probably do this one main mission and then next time binge a lot of main missions. Machiavelli, we must talk. Yes. I secured something of great worth from one of my contacts. We and now that have contact is now dead because of La Volpe. Cesare has recruited to terrorize Roma. How do I find them? I can give you a general location. 
I suggest looking for signs of distress nearby. Perhaps you will uncover citizens who can point you in the right direction. My contact will continue searching for more names. No, he won't, because he's dead. This information came from a city guard. Yes. How did you know? La Volpe killed him. Lucky guess. Grazie. Claudia, Bartolomeo, and La Volpe are waiting for you inside. I can't imagine how you did it. Virtù, Machiavelli. Virtù? What have you discovered? That bastardo Cesare is in the Castel Sant'Angelo with the Pope. My spies tell me that the apple has been secreted to someone for a study. I am working on determining his identity. Caterina will be moved to the prison within the Castello next week. Bene. So the Castello it is. Roma will heal quickly with Cesare and Rodrigo gone. Only if the opportunity to assassinate them arises will I take it. Do not repeat your mistake in the vault. You must kill them now. Can't rush I'm with it Machiavelli, too much. Ezio. We should not wait. But if we rush it, is right. things happen. They must pay for Mario's death. Do not worry. They will die. You have my word. Why can't I just do the same thing and infiltrate the Vatican again? Sir Ezio. I represent the combined resources of Bartolomeo ah. del Viano, Claudio Auditore, and La Volpe. Through my associates spread across the city, you can channel your florins to any part of the underground you desire. Interesting. You may have seen notices posted around Roma which allow you to purchase buildings. Income from your new tenants will Ezio be deposited Ezio becomes a landlord. <laughs> as well as additional profit from renovations. Bookkeepers can be found throughout the city. Molto bene. Yeah, I've already been taking advantage of that. So unless there's like a... A special... Mechanic. Nope, you're gone. Like unless there was special things that I could... Upgrade from within here. I've already been doing that. Killing spree cheat unlock. That reminds me of the unicorn thing that popped up. I wonder where the cheats are, like, located. Din of Thieves. Why does everything seem, like, uh... Very overcast. I think it was because of the very bright... Like, diddly D lines. Combined with the lighting of the area. But since that was very quick... I don't know. Because there's still those, uh... Lines, so... I don't see any... Like, special... So, these probably are there to tell me that I can't go to those sections because they're blocked off. And that's kind of what... It was, and aside from the Romulus, which I don't care to do right now, let's do one more mission. So... I guess I will go ahead, fast travel to, like, here. To make it the way, because there's not. I doubt there's anything that will pop up. New I oh yeah, new items and stuff. But I'm very poor. You cannot pass these prices by. It did say like new assignments, so probably like new assassination targets have come out. And again, would be interesting to. More speed, don't care. Oh. Interesting. So you can equip from here. Requires the double hidden blade from Leonardo. Why? 
pain and misery. Another time. Why is he selling something that I can't even equip? It's just a van brace. I can't I give it to Leonardo to be like, hey, can you put this van brace on? Maybe that's what happened. Maybe I checked the bank too quick and, like, grabbed the deposit before it notified me. Maybe. Or maybe it is a glitch, and occasionally I just get nothing for some reason. I do not know. I've never seen a stranger, man. And now we will fast travel... To the Rosa Fjord. Yes, I want to fast travel there. Why would I go through a list, select something from the list, only to have you come up and say, Are you sure that is the thing that you want to select from the list? Ah. That bothers me for some reason. But fiddly fine, we will do this mission and then we will end our stream. I feel like sound effects and things are happening randomly sometimes. Like I saw another... Oh. What? And, and a Borgia guard that I won't be able to get to. I was defending myself. Yeah, those guys came at me. That's a silk that I need. And that's one way to get rid of notoriety. You just shoot a guy. In the open. Disappointed that the Borgia messenger just ran on by without me able to shoot him. Would have made me notorious, but hey. I'm getting tons of purple dye. But hey, nice that these guys tried to assault me. Oh. Because they give items and lots of Vlad the Impaler coins. Let us go and see what this mission is. Obviously it can't be kill Cesare and Rodrigo Borgia. No way in hell it's gonna be that. Or if it is, bad things are gonna happen regardless. Oh no, it's trying to free Katarina. Salve, cittadini di Roma! Behold a sight most splendid! Katarina Sforza, she whore of Forli, has at last been brought to heel! Ha! No one kneels as low as Lucrezia Borgia! Who put you up to this? Was it your brother or your father? Perhaps a bit of both? Perhaps at the same time? Chiudi la bocca! None speak ill of the Borgia! The same will happen to any who defy us! At least she us. still has her spirit. Good people of Roma! Stay strong! You will be free! Your time will come! I swear it! They are going to torture her. You and worse. are here for Cesare and Rodrigo. Katarina is a powerful ally. If we help her now while she is weak, she will aid us in return. Perhaps. But kill Cesare and Rodrigo first. Do not be detected. Infiltrate Castel, Sant'Angelo, and assassinate Cesare and Rodrigo. Oh boy.
Do not be detected. If I remember correctly, a nice commenter in the last video, or, like, stream, was kind enough to say that depending on how you play this, this is either basically like Memory 13 in terms of annoyance. Remain undetected. So this is gonna be crossbow time, I guess. Kinda mean that he didn't. Die. Thank you, Crossbow. Die. Again, please don't throw any elite mooks that for no reason are immune to crossbow bolts, because I will just find that exceedingly annoying. Forget the Pope, you only answer to me. <laughs> Roma is the pillar that holds our entire enterprise aloft. She cannot waver, which means neither can you. What of Il Vaticano? That tired old man's club. Play along for now, but soon we will have so no I guess these are gonna them. be my new... <laughs> my next group of targets. Uh... Ah. Find a route into the tower. Hello, friend. Huh. No, not gun. Bye. Gonna kill all the guards. Better safe than sorry. And I don't think this game has a like return to checkpoint function. I think all of it is like if I restart the memory, I restart the memory. So unless I like let myself die to re load a checkpoint. That's something funny. Why is there a checkpoint feature if I can't actually make use of it myself unless I die? make it to that jump efficient way of getting across, but I... Nice bird. Fuck, 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 fuck.
Please stop looking for me. Master! He's losing us! You're not! He's getting away! Thank God that detected literally means they are ready to start fighting you. So far, not bad. What the fuck? Why? Oh, that is bullshit. Oh, that is some bullshit. All right, fine game. You want to play that way? Here, I thought we were going to actually play nice and fair. Nope, the game has decided to enact war. Why can he see me, but I can't, like, lock onto him? Oh, that's double bullshit! Why? Triple bullshit. There we go. So I basically have to kill all of these guys. Like, all of the archers, crossbowmen, on the rooftops, it seems like. That's kind of bullshit, if you ask me. Oh, maybe it wants me to climb up here to better come at this guy. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Yeah, this is bad design. Once I start climbing that goddamn tower, I should not be able to be seen. And it's just like, there isn't a good way... To, like, I guess they want me to kind of stealth it. Fine, we'll stealth it. Please don't see me. That was too fucking close. That was just way too close. Very annoying of them to put crossbowmen with super sight in my way. A bold design choice, especially because I thought, oh, I'd get here, then I start climbing, and then no, they decided to put a bunch of crossbowmen that are in the way. Like, granted, maybe that one over there wasn't much of a threat to me, but I was not taking the risk, game. You showed me that crossbowmen that I was unassuming of are a threat to me. So now I have decided all crossbowmen must die if they are too close to a specific area. Because it's kind of mean to have a don't get detected mission objective alongside a no real Lucrezia. checkpoint system. Oh sure, checkpoints exist. I just can't use them unless I die. About the mouth on her, how I'd love to sew it shut. I'd rather like it open myself. Oh. <laughs> Have you talked to the Pope about the funds requested by my banker? He is away from the Castello, and he might need some convincing when he returns. That shouldn't be a problem. Should Are you gonna beat the Pope? No. Only it gets quite lonely here. You and I spend so little time together these days, busy as you are with your other conquests. Soon. Once I have secured the throne of Italia, you are going to be my queen and your loneliness will be a thing of the past i don't believe him I, wait. I think he's Behave too narcissistic i am gone
gun. Why couldn't you use your gun right there? There are bars. Put the gun through the bars, shoot him right there. Alright, who went splash? Alright, game. Would like to do that, yes. Because I'm very paranoid. Game. Go to the left! Ah! Alright, maybe it doesn't want me. Maybe it wants me to go down a bit. Alright. Seems it wants me to go down a bit. But I don't know why I would have this here. That much. But god, that was painful. What's the mission now? Where's my objective? I guess still into the tower. Alright, I'm going to... I just want to orient myself. Stop the game. See, that's another part of the reason why I really hate it. When the game decides to take control away. Ah. Instead, I should actually be doing this. Because there are little handholds here that I can go down on. Good, good. Because I think... Game. Follow logic of your contextual climbing path, please. And for the love of God, don't have random archers or riflemen ready to murder me. That is all that I ask. Nobody, thankfully, nobody's looking out these windows. <gasps> oh, fuck, oh, fuck, 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 why? I should have looked at the mini-map, I yes I know, but dear god. I'm gonna quickly come down here and loot his body for bolts. And dear god, that guy's back is broken. I will refrain from making the topical reference, though. Please don't stumble off, I want to loot your body. Luckily, that guy decided to ignore his friend going tumbling down. I'm a little bit scared, because... Just in case the crossbowman gets an idea. Ever terrified of... The guards randomly deciding, I'm going to go and fuck up your day. I wonder what Assassin's Creed would be like in the modern day, though. Like, guards have walkie-talkies. They start to note when they start to go missing. I sure do like the fact that I don't have any, like, indication of where I'm supposed to go. It just says, find a way into the tower. I am here. Maybe it wants me to climb that? I don't think so, but... Game wants climb. So let's climb. even make a giant flag pole a small chore to climb it's just a tower let me just hold up and go 
It's a tower. Like, I don't even really know. Oh, there is something up here, at least, so. It's just a flag. But oh well. Um, yeah, you totally need an extra handhold to get up there. <laughs> when do we get, like, uh, parachutes? Because I think there's a parachute in this game. We went so high up, we actually avoided, uh, jurisdiction. I keep saying, find a way into the tower, but I don't know where it wants me to go. Maybe down there? Would be nice if I had an indicator. Like, even just an indicator of the tower. I just, I don't know where it wants me to go too much. Get him out of the way, just because I can. I'm going to assume it wants me to try and get in on the other side. Nope, this is clearly telling me to fuck off. I don't know where it wants me to go, then. Alright, it wants me to go up here, actually. While still trying to not be discovered. Of which, going into an indoors area is slightly terrifying. This is the area it told me to fuck off from. So I guess this was also a viable entrance that was less guarded. Doesn't seem like there's anything here, just benches. Kind of funny that all benches are marked, even when they can't really be used as hiding places. And all uh, right, this place is immediately gone dingy. Quick draw. Fastest crossbow in the land. Because I'm not risking you finding me. When the when it's a vague, don't get spotted quest, I refuse to be seen. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, they aren't even marked, so I don't think, like, uh... But oh, wait. There's somebody there. Multiple people here. I don't think the game... But there is a way. No, 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 don't do it. I'm going to exhaust all other possibilities first. Is there a way up and through? No. There does not seem to be a way up and through. I would try smoke bombs if I was daring, but I think that smoke bombs are like an immediate combat instigator. Like I throw down, aha! Maybe. Or what is this? This is obviously a thing. But apparently not. That is odd. That is obviously a thing, but it's also not a thing. That is kind of dumb. Like, what's the point? 
What's the point of this? I'm not sure if I should be going down the tower or up the tower more. Because I know that there's, like, apparently lots down. If only I, I... I wish I could make my own saves. That is what I'm wishing right now. I wish that I could go and make my own manual saves. No, game. Don't tell me you expect me to take on those two guys at the same time. I'm gonna get discovered. That is some bullshit if you expect me. Because again, I can't do anything. Can't open that. Can I open this? And I don't have a... There's nowhere I can go in there. But what was that thing? I am annoyed. Why is it, like, so intricate in some places, but so bland in others? Like, coming up here, I can then jump all the way over here, and there's this. What is this? What is the point of this? Like, it obviously is something. Don't get discovered, the game says. While putting me in a situation of which I can only be discovered. Alright, they're just brain dead. Okay. Sure, why not? The guards are just the dumbest of things. I thought they would actually be something. Okay, sure. But aren't you Katarina? Uh... Uh... Did the game break? Uh... Was I not supposed to kill those guys? Was I supposed to walk in? Oh, I am getting angry. Oh, I'm getting angry. I am getting mad. That's fucking stupid if that's the case. Maybe they just wanted me to come to this door. <laughs> Why? Don't make me do all of that again. Because I just know that if I click, ooh, restart memory, it's going to be a whole shebang bullshit. Well, time to go skip cinematic. Skip cinematic? Sure. Skip that cinematic. Did the game think I was in a cinematic the entire time and glitch? What the fuck? That honestly is so fucking stupid. Why? That is the dumbest thing in the goddamn world. And also apparently there is a glyph somewhere which is equally as fucking stupid. Wow, would be nice. If, 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 Why is the game being fucking stupid right now? Why the fuck would it do that, you stupid game? Dear fucking god. C 
seriously. Open the gate! The Captain General is leaving for Urbino! That is honestly very stupid. Machiavelli is going to be very disappointed. It thought I was in a cutscene and thus didn't activate. All right, that explains some things, but dear God, that is, that should not be a thing. Like, ever. Like, that just should not be a thing. That should be physically impossible. <laughs> Open her cell. What the hell? How was the journey to Roma? Did you sit in Cesare's private carriage? You're pathetic, Lucrezia. What did he talk about? His plans for Napoli? Did you like it? I can't remember. Perhaps you will remember this. Ah! That puts you in your place. Utter sociopath. Lock it and give me the key. They don't have duplicate keys. So yeah, I missed a lot because I played through the goddamn thing. And the game just... And yeah, again, there's frickin'... You know what? No. no. I'm gonna take one moment. I'm going to see where the goddamn glyph for this is. Alright, it's not, like, in this memory at the very least. Huzzah. That's just what I wanted to make sure because I could see the game being that much of a dick that it goes screw you suffer wait I don't even have to do this but I might as well for the extra bolts come with me friend there goes my extra bolts He did a barrel roll off the tower. I'm going to power walk towards you and stab you. So that I might get more bolts. What the fuck? Leave me alone. That was close. That was very freaking close. Normally guards don't look over railings, but I guess there is bars in that railing. But all right. I'm gonna wait just a moment until that guy is patrolling that way. Just to lessen my chances of him fucking me over. He'd be the perfect scapegoat of... So yeah, that definitely explains where all the markers went. The game thought I was in a cutscene. Somehow. Which feels just like it shouldn't happen. Like... That is the one time when you can, like, lock my controls game. When I'm not meant to be in control. It's a cutscene. That's dumb. Invisible walls. But yeah. If I am supposed to be in a cutscene, I feel like I shouldn't be able to control Ezio and kill guards. I should be locked so that way if something goes wrong, I can deal with it and not have to deal with stuff like that. That was very freaking weird. And gee, it's almost, almost like uh, you should let players be able to make manual saves. But save scumming! But it's almost like you should let players make manual saves. Because it would almost save them trouble. Will I be killing 
the guy's uh, wife today. But I just want to see. Why is the, why why is the auto free run stuff like broken a lot of the time? We are going to veer in a direction that you don't want to go purely so that you can't do it. Will this activate now? Nope, still don't know what that's supposed to be. Now the question is, will those two guards be competent? Will they have a script that will allow me to take advantage? Oh my back. Please, can you reach this water for me? I cannot get it. I don't have a double. That's you. What are Thank you doing God. Here? Paying a visit to the tailor. Rescuing me will provoke Cesare's wrath. He's already but provoked me. Horace is away. Any chance there is a second key? The guard handed his to Lucrezia, so I assume not. Do you know where she is? Her quarters are at the top of the castello. All right, stay here. That key is as good as mine. I'm not going anywhere. So yeah, that felt like it was going up for a... Do not lose more than 10 health squares. I'm going to assume cumulatively and not uh, the amount that you have at any one time because I don't even have 10. You have received new emails. So yeah, I'm just going to say uh, that felt like it expected me to have the double hidden blade when I do not have it. What was it expecting of me? Was it expecting me to have the double hidden blade at, at this point in the game? Because I do not know. I still don't understand what the point of that is. I guess I'm supposed to go back up and not further in. I assume. Yeah, that's that's what it feels like. This I do not know why, but this definitely feels like the most buggy the game has ever been. But at least I can do whatever I want now cuz we're no longer in the I love you so. I want this to section see anymore heads. of please be you must whisper no it more yourself if Cesare found out who knows what Dilly -dee. are you not what was that I didn't even I... get a chance to do anything I'm late for rehearsal farewell my love I heard the entire exchange Mia Signora and can vouch for it good tell Cesare we shall see how it feels when the shoe is on the other foot Yes, Signora. Lol. So is that guy just gonna be our Patsy? Should just kill her. Please continue. I did not mean to interrupt. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. How That's nice my name. to Don't find word out. after hearing so much. A pity Cesare is no longer here. He would have enjoyed this. My fight is not with you, Lucrezia. Free Caterina, and I will stand down. Impossible. Then you leave me no choice. Guards! I cannot leave you out here to cause trouble, so you're coming with me. Scream, however, and I will be forced to take your tongue. Lol. Rescuing princesses from castles now? There he is! I see him! Ben. <laughs> At least she is kind and always stays to the side. Charging around, killing whomever you wish. 
Christ, there's so many guards all of a sudden. Yeah, they all died. Now the question is, is destination up or destination down? You I'm going to assume Lorenzo destination down. Of everything and threw them into prison, even those who played no part of the conspiracy. <laughs> They're not hurt. The women were forbidden to marry, and the family tombstones were erased, wiped from the history books. Poof, just like that. Yeah, but at the same time, vengeance. Not the consequences of your actions. Content to set events into motion, but unwilling to see them through. <laughs> That's just annoying. Cesare will finish what he started. <laughs> I think they wanted me to hear all she had to say. He kills for a higher purpose. I'd like you. Sure, whatever you say, lady. Please don't elbow me again. Salute, Lucrezia. How I've missed you. By a party fotter at Troia. Always a pleasure. Bring her here, I'll take the key. Lol. Classy. Guards! Guards! That's enough out of you! Lol. Can you walk? No. I guess we are going out the front. Do not be detected. Oh boy, more of this. Wait here. As if I have a choice. The dead body took my thing. I am angry. This better restart me. All progress. I'm just gonna let him kill me. Cause that was bullshit. The body took my fucking thing. Why can't I just re Cause I assume that restart memory means restart from the beginning. That's just what I assume and expect from this game. So I'm just gonna let him kill me. Cause let's see, is it like say, yep, failed, so. Well actually, no, because this is a new memory. Okay, yeah, this is a new memory. We just started it. Not like the whole thing at the very, very beginning because it actually has sections to it, but at the same time. They're just being very mean about it. If I have a choice. Overall, that seems better to me. What are you doing, Ezio? I'm clearing the path. Why save me, Ezio? With Forley taken, I am useless to you. You have a family. It is not your family. Come, Ezio. This way. I need to clear the path. Why can you see me? That's so stupid. You should not be able to see me. I just feel like, are those guys going to patrol back up? Get down. <laughs> Why? I f this is so fucking stupid. This is some dumb design. Stop it. 
I just knew that he was gonna come up, but there's th the fucking minimap is terrible. Let me utilize the checkpoints, you assholes. Wait here. God, I hate these As fucking things. Choice. Some of this is very fucking stupid. What the devil are you doing up here? <laughs> Just very fucking stupid. Why not let me utilize the checkpoints? With poorly taken, I am useless to you. Off. Such bullshit. No, you don't get to play the game. The AI knows all, you stupid idiot. I also, I particularly hate this part because these two assholes come I in. I have, I have to fucking wait for them to go about and do their stupid bullshit. Katarina always says, Ezio, what are you doing? Which is fucking annoying, because I'm playing the fucking game the way they designed it to be. Why save me, Ezio? With Fordly taken, I am useless to you. At least these two are now in my line of sight. Oh, fuck off, Kane! That is annoying. We can to your target. I'm clearing the goddamn path. Why? No shit, assholes. I know what I'm doing. You God, have a family. that is it terrible is not design. Your family. That night at the villa, I had to ensure our allegiance to protect Forley. Do you understand? Ezio? I think he's coming back. Jesus fucking Christ! I hate this. E la politica. Of course, I knew it. He did not explain. Katarina, the day, the Cesare. Refuses to answer. Fair enough. Don't you dare. It's the only way. <laughs> Tormenting women. Why not search here? Come with me, friend. Filio di putana, never do that to me again. I will do what I must to get you out alive. Why is it get out without being detected? That's just annoying. Stop, stop, why? It's very annoying that it's like, get back to the target, I'm trying to clear a path game. You are the one that set me up upon this path of hell. So I am going to clear it. Alright, I already looted his body. Again, just I wish that I could utilize the checkpoint system. It seems to open from over there. Going to loot the body just in case. 
please don't have any annoying guards. Fuck off! That is the dumbest thing! Return to your... Why fuck with the camera so fucking much, assholes? Seriously, why wouldn't I leave her here while I go to do the cranks? And then it's just like, we're charging your target! Game! Do you know the mission that you made? The objectives upon it? Why would you design something like this? I am not that far away in relation to the area that you expect me to navigate. All the while, making me unable to be detected if I want 100% synchronization. And since this is a story one, I want to do it well. Okay, there. Good. God, thank you. Like the time trial ones, I'll deal on my own. Escort Katarina on horseback as she flees from the castle. Achieve a kill streak of at least five guards. No memory of Christina available. Game says, get a kill streak. I was physically impossible of getting a kill streak there. You will be waiting for me. What about you? Someone has to stay here and Oh, now I get to kill them. Get back in one piece, or I will never forgive myself. Go! Now that's one way to get your man to really come back because I'll never forgive myself. Nearly impossible to get a kill streak on these guys. Because they're just like, I am going to go do a thing now. Yeah, so <laughs> this new system. Is ever so slightly wonky. I don't even know if I got a kill streak or not. That's a lot of guys. Asshole. Who's that? Somebody's attacking the Vatican. Or just kill them all. Why doesn't the game let me highlight secondary objectives? <laughs> no, you can't highlight secondary objectives. The game is very rude. There was clearly enough space between him and the others. Why did it reselect? Asshole game. Why did it re- I countered a guy with the gun, so it's like, oh, obviously you must want fists. Stop messing with my controls, game! 
Dear fucking god. Is it really that hard to just not mess with my shit? That's all you have to do. Not mess with my shit. I have gun, I accidentally counter somebody, sure, why not? Just leave the gun activated. There's obviously a reason. Hilarious that he basically pinned the poster that I just tore off back to the wall with a new arrow. Hilarious. Ay ay ay. But yeah, today has been a very, very glitchy stream. And I do not know why. I do not know why that it is this way. And again, I don't know where to get the... Like, maybe the game... I don't I don't know. Maybe the game expected me to speedrun the Leonardo missions to get a second thing, but... Then why would it... I don't even know what the game wants from me anymore. Ah. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna pull money out of the bank. I'm going to go and do the mission that will probably just be... Talking to Katarina. Nice to know that her fate wasn't as terrible as it was... At first shown to be in the bio. Because, you know, this is Assassin's Creed pseudo-revisionist history, so... The history that we know and the history that is are two different things. And plus, this is genetic memory. But yeah, at the very least, the mission was thematic. Because the glitchiest mission that we've ever played so far... What with locking me into a cutscene and screwing me over slightly... Happened on the most funky section that we've played so far. So yeah, we'll do the mission that will basically just be talking to people to close out the memory sequence, probably. And uh, we'll end the stream, and I'll actually close the game down so that we can start it afresh next time, just in case that might lower the amount of wonkiness that's going on. This is just very weird. Give me my money. Just last month, the Visconti bought three hundred. So let's go ahead into the place, probably talk to Chris, Katarina, and just finish this all out. Hopefully. It's hey, Plague Doctor. Where is Machiavelli? I could not find him. I brought the Contessa here, Katarina. Care to tell us where you have been? Looking for Ezio. What of Cesare and Rodrigo? Rodrigo wasn't there and Cesare, Cesare left. Cesare off before I could get close to him. And Rodrigo was somewhere else entirely. That is odd. Rodrigo is usually at the Castello. Not today. Very odd indeed. What a waste. No offense. Lol. None taken. With Cesare gone to Urbino, we must build our forces. Ah, so this is the I Brotherhood part of Brotherhood. Now. Impossible. Cesare commands a massive army in Romagna. You would never reach him. I say we work here, in Roma. Erode the Borgia's influence while restoring our own. And in fact, I want to begin right now. Volpe, bring Claudia and Bartolomeo here. Machiavelli, meet me outside. Take care of her. So this will begin the be make your own brotherhood section of the game at last. The Borgia rob everything from the people to maintain power. What do you intend to do? Restore power. We will power. recruit him to our cause. You cannot be serious. To win this war, Machiavelli, we need loyal soldiers. By recruiting enemies of the state, we arm those who have been disarmed by the Borgia. Go then. Recruit our first novices. Fight the two with the two citizens. All right, we'll go ahead and do this. And of course, the pickpocket shows up now.
Hello there, friend. Assassin! The liberation <laughs> of Roma has begun. If you choose to flee, do so now. But if you choose to fight, stand with me against the Borgia. I am tired of hiding in the shadows. I will join you. Then seek Niccolo Machiavelli on Isla Tiberina, and we will make you one of us. Their lies will no longer mask your truth. Hilarious that they know immediately who we are. Assassin! Where's the other mark? Where's the other mark? Assist another citizen. There was another mark that was here. So they're just all over the place now. Lol. Must not interfere with the quartering of criminals once they have been strapped to the block. I do find it funny that it took me three streams. Basically four, because this is the end of this stream once we save this other assassin and finish this mission. But yeah, it took me a long time to get to the Brotherhood part of Brotherhood. Excuse me, officer. I'm off to kill your friends. It will be fast. I don't like the multi-layeredness of things. CLIM! Why? I have no patience for that bullshit. <laughs> that is so fucking stupid. Like, I'm sorry, but I have no patience for that. He reached up to climb. And then the game just said, actually, no. That's inexcusable. Fuck off. The liberation of Roma has begun. That was well done. Please, teach me to fight them as you do. Why do you have a better sword than I do? I didn't even tell her where to go. But yeah, I have no patience for when the game is like, I'm gonna reach up, and then just fucking fails. But alright. That's gonna be the next thing we do. Recruiting a shit ton of assassins, I guess, because it's rather relatively quick. I assume some of the assassin challenges will be actual missions to do. Like, you know, the guy who his wife was hung by the executioner guy and couldn't even cut her down under threat of being killed. And then we killed the executioner guy. I figured more of them would be that climb the fucking ladder. I am losing my patience game. You stuck me into a cutscene and didn't let me play the game and force me to restart shit. I have no fucking patience. I am becoming enraged. That's not, like, please. Get off the wall! I pressed B so many fucking times. Why? Where even are you? Apparently you're down. But of course you weren't because I... Eh, fuck. You basically saved yourself, dude. The liberation of Roma has begun. My that is thanks. all. That was too close. That's all I he says. Survive the day out here. Can you help me? I would gladly fight for you. The liberation of Roma has begun. But yeah, I don't know why the game is just threatening me now. But alrighty then. We went way longer than we were meant to because the game's kind of an asshole. I'll just do this mission. And then the game decides to wig out five million different ways. So yeah. To have a decent end that isn't annoying, let's leave uh, the Animus, read some emails. And then that will allow me to have a better place to end the game, restart it for next time to hopefully fix some of the issues, like the guards not wanting to be countered, and various other things. Welcome back, Desmond. But yeah, that's all blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Just lots of blah, 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 blah. Weekly schedule, play three, access. Weekly schedule, eats. 
So that's the new schedule for this week. Eats. Going to get some eats from the cafe in town. I anything? Desmond, yogurt, 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 yogurt. This just in, Rebecca is a Templar. Re, 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 and be prepared. My, uh, my nightstand. Hilarious. Oh. <laughs> Found it. That's all it says. Why are you emailing each other? You're all right here at all times. <laughs> So it's just like, why is everyone emailing everyone about these things? It's like a message board. And nothing else. We'll see if anybody has anything to say, then end things. Any theories about that cipher Machiavelli handed me? That's you, I mean. I can't decode it without the key. It's a one-time pad. What's that? It's a cipher with a unique disposable key. Imagine someone used the first letter of each word in the Declaration of Independence to encipher something. Well, without the Declaration itself, you couldn't decrypt it. I could run it through the computer. There are some things even a computer can't do. Like, like love, Rebecca. <laughs> like love. Sean's a funny little man. So Sean, any lions outside the pride? Who was that girl you were dating, Kate? Ah, uh, yeah. Kate. Katie, 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 kitty cat, Kate. Show the pants right off her, I did. Yeah, right. I know for a fact you didn't even get to second base. <laughs> oh, did, did, uh, what? We, what? 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 We had lunch. You had lunch with Kate? Whatever, I got <laughs> with <work> Kate. To do. <laughs> he sounded so, like, distraught. <laughs> You know I love talking about this stuff, Desmond. You just sounded so distraught for some reason. Any news from the outside? Rebecca's patched in a phone line. The Templars are still guarding the border, and Vidic seems to be busy too. Doing what? From the looks of things, he's using Animus data to train Abstergo operatives. That's what the Meaning. multiplayer was. <laughs> Abstergo's preparing for a full-on assault. That's kind of sad that that no longer exists, that kind of subplot. Because when you, like, first opened up the, like, the multiplayer for the first time, it would actually have Vidic do a whole spiel, but that doesn't exist anymore because you this the doesn't happen. only assassin at Abstergo's Animus facility? How are you getting data from them? Some old passwords work, but I can't dig very far into the network. We'll talk later. Now get in there and find the apple. We're counting. Have you ever on killed you. anyone? Hello to you too. <laughs> I dated a guy who was an electronics expert around the time the assassins first contacted me. And? Now I'm single. <laughs> Are you kidding? Of course I'm kidding. You think I would joke about someone I actually killed? Death is only funny when it isn't happening in front of you. I should know. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Fair enough. I noticed you didn't patch the translation software. That's <laughs> still buggy. There's only the occasional glitch in the Italian, but if you hit any German or French, watch out. I love that that's actually, like, explained. But yeah, still liking the game, but it still has weird, weird, wonky weirdness from time to time. Like, again, I try to go to a place that is obviously free-runnable parkour, too, Instead, the game is like, ah, you want to go down to the ground and take some damage. That's just very, very annoying, very weird. I am also very annoyed at the existence of just so, so, so many freaking time trials of secondary objectives. The fact that the, 
the game was just on a glitch spree this this time. Like, money was saying, oh, zero florins were added to the bank. Why? Why? You don't need to tell me that then, game. The fact that the game glitched out in a cutscene and wouldn't tell me where to go, and even when I divined the way to go, wouldn't activate properly, forcing me to restart a good part, a good section of the game. It's just, I don't know why. This was just the glitch section of the game. Hopefully a restart will fix things and prevent more annoyances from happening. Some of the annoyances will still come through, probably if more time trials being annoying. But at least, like, the Copernico missions were nice. They were just a nice breath of fresh air. I got a lot of money to spend next time and stuff. But yeah. Game is being annoying. And the sad thing is I won't even really be able to do any kind of grinding of anything, like stocking up money to buy more renovation places. Because now there are a billion and one people being harassed by the guards that I can save and turn into assassins. <laughs> Which we'll save for the next time we stream this. Which will hopefully not be as buggy. <laughs> and hopefully have clearer secondary ob objective things. Like, don't just say, stop this guy from beating up the courtesan. Because again, that in my mind implies lays a single hand on her as opposed to knocks her lights out and basically kills her. It just, it doesn't make sense. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can catch me on various different websites. Like, if you want art from me, I have a Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. I'm gonna be trying to make some, like, videos that I've like, wanted to make it for a long time. They won't be as visually, like, grand, grandiose, as they were originally supposed to be planned to be. But I will be making videos on YouTube at my main channel, Neon Icy Wings, to give my thoughts on various media. And, again, like I said earlier in the stream, they'll be, like, overly sarcastic, overly sarcastic productions, detailed diatribe videos, where... That will only have, like, uh, static images for, like, what I'm talking about to give context or the occasional video segment to provide proper context. Purely to lighten the video editing load on myself so that I can actually, like, do stuff and not be bogged down by the a billion year production cycle of a single video because I am horribly, horribly stressed by that kind of thing. <laughs> But yes, new videos will hopefully be going out in the nearest future on the YouTube channel Neon Icy Wings. If you want to catch up on previous streams, you can follow me on the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games, of which uh, is an archive channel where all of these streams eventually end up, like the Mass Effect trilogy, Undertale, and Kirby in the Forgotten Land and such, as well as I'm actually dual streaming there now. So if you want to if you prefer YouTube streaming, you can catch me on my YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, for live streams. And if you are preferring of Twitch, you can watch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. If you want to know when I go live on my streams, you can check my Twitch channel schedule. I should probably try and add that schedule to the About page on my Neon Icy Games channel. But if you want to know exactly when I go live, you can always check my Twitter, where I send out a tweet, and then I delete it when I'm finished streaming so as not to confuse people. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Diddly, diddly, diddly.